Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream! I hope we're all having a wonderful day today, or as wonderful as a Monday could possibly ever be. Maybe, I don't know, hopefully. Maybe we won the lottery today. Maybe it's the best Monday ever. Maybe it's the best day ever! Best day. That's a Spongebob Squarepants reference. Uh, from the best day ever special. But, uh, today we are going to be playing some more... Uh, I was about to say Trails Memories of Salsetta. That's not a game. Uh, East Memories of Salsetta. That's what we're doing today. I see Fontana's already here. Yeah, Twitch notification the first hour? Say it ain't so. Uh, got better after I finished my eight and nine hour workday. Jesus Christ, man. Well, it, it, I would hope it got better <laughs> after that. Um, so today we are continuing our journey in this tower with really good uh, music. Uh, so right now, you know, I think it's probably safe to just let myself regen some uh, health here. Because I took some hits getting up to this small point. Uh, oh, that was a cute little twirl. Um, but basically, we're ascending the tower because we're looking for a uh, god man and uh, we went through all the lightning. Like, once again, like, Falcom, hit it out of the park with the music. Like, gotta be real. Okay, so that's that, and then, okay, two is that, okay, and this is, this is guard, and I've, I, I forget to use this. I, I usually just try and dodge everything, yeah. It's like Dark Souls. I just try and dodge everything instead of trying to block. 
Okay. Do the circle. Oh god. Uh Everything kill. There you go, skill finish. Okay. So if I remember right, um, right, I have her with the skill gain plus two. Uh, she also has it, uh, and he has this. This game was one of their redos after. You know that is true. It's like you know if they're gonna remake a game, they're gonna try and hit it out of the park like super hard. Um, okay, so, double impact, 172 gravity sphere, so, okay. One, two. Yeah, no chat. Wouldn't do to have it be sub but yeah, that's very true. Oh. Shit, did not realize that this was a friggin' clock face tower. Because uh, I didn't explore all of the other way just yet, but you know what? I'm gonna probably have to explore all of it anyway, so Let's take a Oop, oh god, okay Are we oh god, no Oh no This is this is like a super clock puzzle. Okay. Let's see what happens if I redo the metal Please just go back to the starting position Please just go back to no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah, oh, fuck! Because it's only the small part right here that spins. Okay. Avoid the enemy. It's time to fight. Okay. Okay. So there's some, some pillars right there that I can't do anything about. I don't think I can smash them. This, this isn't trails. Um, okay, so there's three positions. There's left, bottom, right. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. But, uh, that's only for this first bit. I don't know about the other. I need to explore the rest of here first. There you go. Okay. So, that's there. Aerial combo. That'll increase level 24. He also has the experience item on, so my hope is that he will just always remain top level. Because if he's strong, then that means I'll probably be able to take on any late game boss. I say I say that no does not mean that. I saw a post um, on Twitter today. I think it was from the East Ismelis like Twitter channel, um, but they were asking like, um, what's like the hardest uh, mainline uh, or not mainline, but what's the hardest East game like on normal difficulty? And I was like, how's this even a question? Like obviously it should be Falgana, right? Because that shit's just insane. And a lot of people were saying like Nepishtum. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> How? Others are saying some of the, uh, like, I think a couple of non-released ones um, as well. Or I say not non, I say non-released, the non-remake ones. Um, and then also, like, East 1 and 2, which I can definitely understand. But it's like, uh, in terms of, like, normal difficulty and, like, just base, Felgana was like a punch to the balls, man. <laughs> That shit was tough. Like, not to say... Like, I feel like one would have been hard casually for me if I didn't follow a guide. Other than that, I can... I feel like it's generally alright in terms of combat. With the sole exception... Sole exception of the final boss, right? Where dark fact can really only be killed by the, um, can only be killed by the silver stuff. There we go, was a bit annoying, fountain boss, but uh, yeah. Hmm. Are you serious? I guess Saras. 
so I'm gonna need to go over to there to raise the platform for this thing. But then that will require me to go all the way around. Ah, you bastard. You bastard, man. Okay. But yeah, like, and even, even if you, even after you, like, the final boss, like, Dark Fact, like, he's not even that bad when, when you have the silver stuff on. Like, you take him out pretty quick. Of course, I was also playing on easy, if I remember right. Uh, so I'm not sure about normal, because that might be completely different. Ah, oh, goddammit, is that a... What is that? Oh, god, okay. Well, I knew this... Well, actually, no, if I knew this was here, I couldn't have come here when I was originally on the right, because I didn't open up the thing. Oh, the origin most bosses took me several tries for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Unica first try, like, I will say that's probably one of the main things as well, where it's like, first, first time going through the game, right, it's a bit difficult. And Unica, out of all of the characters, I would say is probably the most difficult character in terms of stuff that you're doing, because she's like, she doesn't have much ranged option at all. Then Hugo is like, kind of a joke, uh, in terms of how easy most things are, given his, <laughs> given his range. Um, and then Toll, like, he just demolishes things with pure deeps. But Unica is like, one, you're, you're probably gonna pick her first, because she's the first in the character list between her and Hugo. So you're gonna be going in blind to most boss fights. Uh, uh, I guess unless you've played uh, East 1. Or what is it, East 2? Wh whatever one is in that tower. Osher Scale Charm. I've had Dillarm Blade a whole alpha and made me rage quit. <laughs> oh, Gulen will walk you rip off faster. <laughs> you get lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, like. I also think going into Origin after Felgana and Nepishtim. Like, Fel I, feel, I feel like Felgana really just tempered me for the rest of the games in that, uh... Uh, Friends Freezing. Okay, so now I have two of that. Tempered me for the rest of the games in that engine. Because after that, after Felgana, it was like, oh, this isn't as hard as Felgana. Like, every single time, it was like, oh, this isn't a bad. You're just too much in Goblin again. <laughs> 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 Launcher with Karna being like in the back just doing her attack gets so much SP. Fortunately, with Goblin, I have weird visual memory. I just watched Fan had to do and got like two tries. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I I know with like a lot of games, if you see someone else do it, it helps a lot. Like uh, I remember when uh, I remember when I was as I said before. Uh, on previous streams, I have never beat Dark Souls myself, or Dark Souls 3 myself. I just know a lot about the game and the bosses because I've seen other people do it, and that was sufficient enough to let me guide one of my friends through the game. Uh, and when we were doing some of the bosses that were, like, hard, um, what we would do, or what I would do to help him would be to like look up videos of people beating the bosses without rolling and just walking. Gold rush, nice. So it'd be like, oh yeah, you can tell you can do this without rolling, <laughs> which may, which means that some of the strats that they do must sh surely must be easier with rolling. Uh, and that would help get a lot of stuff. Hit enemies with an large miss, revealing hidden gold. So I guess this is just like a money drop move. Interesting. That. Yeah, 
statues up. God damn. He <laughs> kept him up in the air for over like five seconds. Uh, for me, anything past six is easy once we get fire members. I think I only died like on one boss and seven in the final boss. Seven. Mm. Seven's up for a reason. Okay. But yeah, I never. I don't think I would ever really consider any of the bosses in like Donna, like Lacrimosa of Donna 8, to be hard. Right, like, of course, my most recent playthrough was on New Game Plus, but even then, like, I feel like, like, even as an introduction to East in total, I don't remember dying to many bosses, if any. <laughs> I don't know if town will be hard again without fire members. I don't think Barclay will go back to the old setup, even if they change the game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're going to be going to try to go really hard. Um, doesn't seem like that's really what they're trying to go for. Um, I do know that they were like, oh yeah, we're, we're taking uh, inspiration from, like, Dark Souls in having, like, more like 1v1 or 1v like two kinds of situations. I'm not sure if they're also playing on taking inspiration from any significant difficulty increase. Um, but I am very curious as to where it's going to go, right? In what uh what actually happens. Um. Okay. Okay. So. Let's get you out of the way. What uh? What move? I'm using double impact a lot, so I got okay, I only got a few more. Okay, yeah, gravity sphere level two. Good. Uh 447. Oh, I watched run at East uh five no glitches, lots of RNG. <laughs> Who doesn't love lots of RNG? So stat range is slightly random. Oh god. I don't think I would want that in my East game whatsoever. Just give me a whole bunch of aerial. You guys are kind of annoying. Vader potion. Okay. So let's check these guys out. Is this purely for the sake of just raising each of these individual platforms? Oh, it's one of these. It's one of these. God, gosh, darn it. Catholicon. Okay. So you know, let's go over to here. Let's try this one. They expect you to go one to the other. At least nine abuses, out of bounds, and the monster move. Oh, so that's a nice grind where they go from 2060 in one sitting. Okay. Wow. Wait. What did... Okay, so three just left the one on the right up, so what if I do three again? Okay. Two. One, two. Okay. Oh. Okay, so I guess I could have just done one, two, and I mean that basically the game uses poison liberally, a stack condition that no one uses casually can't confirm. Cerescape. Nice. The run of it. Yeah. Uh Cerescape. Uh yeah, I will give it a shot. He has it on. Um, I already checked this way.
leveling packed up. Okay, you know, we're just gonna, gonna pop a squat. Let, let some stuff come back. Okay, so duh, gravity sphere, double impact. They're good. Power swing and gold rush take 20, so that'll be a bit of a work. Eh. God darn it. Uh, see, sometimes I think my phone goes off because I'm pretty sure I hear the people above me, like they have their phone on a desk and theirs will vibrate <laughs> and I'll hear it and be like, oh, is that, <laughs> is that mine? It's not. Ugh. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, this stand still get health back thing. I'm so glad it like ramps up in health rate. The longer you stay sitting still, that way. Otherwise, it would just be obnoxious. Want to hear something funny? Yes. Always. I always want to hear something funny. I am a glutton for enjoyment. There you go. So I was watching a little bit of the Grumps uh, Mega Man Let's Play. Okay. Is it one of like the old classic ones? Is that the Super Cuz? Ah, okay. Penetrable. Oh, Majora's Mask. Okay. Our, our brains went to very different places when we saw MM. <laughs> Shock Spark. Oh, got another move. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Wind Edge is that. That. Shock Spark. So, what do you have on it? You have Mistral Spin, a 16 Napalm Shot. It's almost there. Video is four hours long. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. They've. They probably played that game for a long time, based on the rate that they go. So this group said they cut 22 hours of the LP, most of the thing, and complaining about the game as it did not create a fluid watching experience. <laughs> 22 hours of cut. God damn. That is so much cut content. Like, when you think about it, right, right, like, their videos are, let's say, 20 minutes long. 22 hours is 66 videos? That's insane. 66 videos worth were cut for that super cut to exist. Mid, okay, I don't think I missed any pads. So, I don't really see any reason to go down, but I do want to save. Okay, so I'm tempted to swap off of Kalilika and go back to Karna, just so I can try and finish out, or get her stuff leveled up as well. Leave it to me! Let's go! Uh... <laughs> well, that's where it gets confusing. Oh, great. Uh, so homing knives, look at 154. So I'm gonna try and level this one up next and then like wind edge. Okay. It was during a period when they changed editors several times. Okay, so I'm guessing the length of the video alters considerably. I knew that thing had to be like I was like, there's no way you're putting a heal right before a not boss. You can see that I'm going to change the Ah, okay. The Guardian of the Storms, Corella Messia! Jeez. Oh god. Okay, so it. Okay. God damn it, this... Oh 
Okay. We're gonna... Start... Gonna sit there and okay, and we're just gonna heal. <laughs> gonna do it this way. Gonna sit here and hold guard, take slightly less damage. Okay, cool, that's mastered. Flash guard, get a flash guard, <laughs> continuously flash guard, it generates SP. So, the start on 13 15, then jump, then on part 60, they jump up to 30, 40 minutes for the last 20 part. I mean, honestly, I feel like that almost makes sense, right? Where it's like, when you realize how much of the game you have left, and how many more episodes you have. Gale shoes, okay, so they, these are gonna hopefully be the anti grav boots. Uh, when equipped, the party can dash by holding B. Also allows the party to ascend certain steep slopes. Sweet. So this is also going to be a very good, um, passive artifact to just have on. Oh god, okay, wait. Oh god, no it can't, no it can't. That's straight, okay, it's good straight line. It's good straight line. <laughs> the turning on it, garbage. It is not like getting the run in all the other, all the other ones. It is very much a, uh... Uh, is very much, okay. Very much a go straight, ya bitch. I never thought you could be serenaded by an electric guitar until <laughs> until, until East. Remember when I said that roll was what you'd be doing all the game? Yeah, I remember. Uh, but I thought I thought that it would because you had also mentioned the boots, and you're like, yeah, you get boots, and I thought it was like until the boots. That's when you... Oh, I can't save. Hmm. Well. Guys, this is all that matters, you know. Okay, so that's why you can't save. Because it's like in the middle of the boss still. You know, honestly, I like this. This is cool. This is, this is actually, like, legitimately awesome. Okay. <laughs> Gigandama! There we go. Like, this, like, ascend the outside of the tower with your speed boots on. It just gives, uh, it just gives me, what is it, DMC... I think it's, what, DMC 1 or 3 vibes. Uh, where, um, Dante is just running on the outside of the, uh, what is it, Temenigru. Uh, tower, and he's like running down it, and he like shoots his bullet, <laughs> or no, he throws his sword, 
and like shoots it and like as he's chasing it he gets like re-entry velocity and the fire is just going around it uh you get boots and you'll be rolling yeah okay can i save now yes i can but that's cool I, li I like that thing that just happened um okay so homing knives has been mastered so i'm gonna replace that with shock spark wind edge is the next one that i want to master with her so smash the crap out of it. Okay, uh, do I get this in my adventure with the MC man? Huh? <laughs> it's really cool, I, I will say. So. See, I myself am not like a big character action fan. Um because I'm just not good at like combos and stuff. Um But um I like watching other people who are good at them play. <laughs> or even just, I like watching other people play them. And I, I just like how unabashedly anime DMC is. Ah, I see. That's neat. Hey, you remember those boots you just got? You should use them. Let's go. Are those things falling out from behind me? Okay. Yeah. Go. Wind edge leveled up. Go. Gimme give gimme give your strength, mass. Um, okay, what levels are we looking at? So at all Okay. Cook is catching up. Um Okay. That was this over here. Oh. There we go. Maybe he says I don't know how LD will sound like Rhea and Fina. LD will sound. Sounded like? I mean, she look, uh, he looked like. In terms of, like, the, the wings. I don't think sounded like. Because they, because they all have, uh, they all have the four white wings made of that material or whatever. Uh, goal they're doing out there, right? Oh yeah, no, like um, yeah, that that was kind of, yeah, yeah, similar. Where, like um where Deal is trying to, uh, like, guide humanity in general with his, like, stuff, whereas, uh, uh, Rey and Fina are more of a, like, oh yeah, we're gonna guide East specifically, or, like, the people of this one area specifically, but in, like, always, like, we're gonna be, like, leaders of these people in general, and not just, like, Overseers of their development. Basically, once the arc destroyed the Aldean Civ, the three remaining Aldean said that they should continue to help you. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> and two of them decided, you know, we should be together <laughs> instead of spreading out. Now, last third one, you know. I also like how it wasn't like, oh, we're the last three of our civilization. We shouldn't try and keep it going. I guess we'll just take the destruction. Although I guess with only three left, if you're not a big fan of inbreeding your children, then I guess it would... Well, that's the question. Are LD... are... 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 is the, uh... Are the LD compatible in terms of being able to procreate with humans? Right? Like, could you have half LD? Plus they can't reproduce? Can't? I, I, I don't remember that. Not doubting that, but I just don't remember the that that fact. Durin, Durin, the Durian. 
during the Duriander. Um, and, oh, god darn it. They to detect and implant the souls of their children into it. Ah, okay. God, like, I forget so much of the details where I'm like, oh, so it's not an actual, like, they're not actual, like, normal bodies. They're literally, like, robot bodies. But, like, magic robot bodies. Oh, it's a timer. You. You. A hey, Yug. Here goes. Okay. So rush, but don't rush enough. Don't rush so much that you get hit. Okay. Gotcha, bitch. Swap on my party here. My turn. <laughs> there we go, baby. Prism mace. Not a prison mace. Made the white elements by control the black elements, which is basically attack with the black. Ah, okay. Man, that that must have been like a big ethical decision, like an ethical nightmare on uh, on that civilization's part at the start, where it's like, okay, guys. We're gonna take our children's souls out of their normal bodies and put them in fake bodies for tech. <laughs> like, trust me, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> like, ima imagine that sales pitch <laughs> to a civilization's worth of people. How much more do I have for Wind Dead? 192. Okay. Use the artifact called the Mother of Spirits to give birth to children who are naturally born with bodies of white animals. They never had normal children after that point. Okay. But then, so they gave. So they used an artifact to, to give birth. So. So even two people born of, like, that. Like, they couldn't naturally reproduce. They needed that artifact. Is that the ah, okay. So it's okay. So it's not that they make natural children with the artifact, and then those children can make more naturally. It is all their art. All their children are artificial, basically. Okay, we're gonna sit here and. Look, boys, you ask me if Eldin can fuck, because I don't think Falcom is going to win. No, it's not can they fuck. It's does does fucking result in children. That's the thing. Oh, shit. I don't have... Okay, that's why it's taking so long. It's because I don't have the Spirit Game Artifact. Ugh. <clears throat> Come on, let's get going. Yeah, I'll get going in a little bit, but you guys aren't looking too hot. You guys are at like half health, and I don't feel like using potions. It's gonna sound like a Twilight situation. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. We're not talking about people falling in love with unborn children. Like, oh, I can sense my destiny with your child, you weirdo. And I'm also not being absolutely terrible partner to high school girl or whatever. Yeah, Aldea could have a kid, but he is not in the mental state for that. Why is that the first thing? <laughs> what do you mean, why is that the first thing? I mean, how an undead ever came... I mean, how an undead ever came pregnant. Oh, no, that, yeah, that... I mean, that's already weird enough. I mean, maybe, maybe in that world, vampires aren't necessarily undead. I don't know. But... 
friggin that, that book was, I never read it or watched the movies thing but oh god damn it well oh well and that would have made things a lot faster I thought I still had a bit more to go before this can't remember I don't know bad words actually I never learned it nor do I really want to know I think it was this friggin vamp dude that vamped it up vamp and vamper He's a vamp and vamper son. Strange that I remember that the father was like a doctor or something. Okay. Remember there was vampires and there was werewolves. Ugh. Okay. Got my eyes itching so bad right now. The guardian of the swords, Krell Amessia. Yes. <laughs> you thought you were done with me? I wasn't done with you. Ah, oh, my eye. Okay, well, you're, you're, hit, you're hitting for a lot. You are absolutely hitting for a lot. Listen, I was been play, busy playing <laughs> Xenoblade X. I was definitely in the Twilight it's so hard. You know, I should be very grateful that you are, in fact, playing, uh, playing this game. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I just, I just used a potion, guys. We're just gonna do you know, a little bit. There's one thing I can do, it's fact checking. God damn it. It was very difficult to dodge. Dodge roll! Dodge roll, I saw the move. Oh no, that was him getting his arms back. That's what it was. We'll say that the, her Mistral Wind is great for killing the two arms. There we go, baby! Oh wait, he still has a little bit of health. He's going into like phase two or some shit. God damn it. Frickin' called it. Going through all my bitter potions. Okay, so it's a, it's a bitch ass phase two. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Those are the best kind of phase twos. Oh wait, he got his health back. What the hell? skill mastered that so now I should probably work on mistral I'll make this I'll make down mistral spin I make mistral spin into honestly wind edge is probably better than homing knives um, yeah having the move that you're trying to grind on X is probably the easiest thing to do yeah, this one is going to take a little bit more time. Thank you. Glad that it's all dead. You're dead, son. Okay. Good save. Thank you. How much of my map do I have? 57 percent. I don't even have 60. But I can see a whole bunch of out over here. Although I'm reaching the edge of the actual map, so there's not much. Like this this area is the 
end this stuff, so. The only other place I can go is maybe... Oh yeah, no, there's definitely some stuff out over here. As you can see, like this, so it's probably gonna go through here or something. And it's a little bit over there. And maybe... Uh, it's probably some additional stuff over here. Not sure. We're going the elevator. Okay, nope, not four. That's the only way to go. Descend to the top floor. I'm trying to think, is there an East game without some kind of tower <laughs> that you're that you have to ascend at some point? Like does every East game have a a tower ascension? Whew, we finally made it. It took us forever to get up here. <sighs> Lord Eldiel! Where are you? And why is this room such a mess again? Sheesh. Honestly, Lisa's kind enough to tidy up, but we take our eyes off him for a few minutes and it's back to how it was. He sure has a lot of books. So this is the room Adol was invited to. There do seem to be a whole lot of things in here that I've never seen before. So all of this knowledge is that Eldiel intends to give to others. I wonder what he planned to impart upon Adol. We can ask him if we find them. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Okay, can't look at everything else. Oh my. Fast boots. <laughs> oh, damn it. Deja vu. Ah, oh, sub, dude. Flying his paper airplanes again. Lord Eldiel! So he's... He is the one they call a god. I thought you might come, Kalilika. And... It's nice to see you again. <laughs> Indeed. It's a pleasure to see you again as well, Adol Kristen. I am truly relieved to see that you've made it back here safely. Lord Eldiel, how are you feeling? Lisa told us that you were unwell. I see. So that is how she explained it then. <laughs> Today, at the very least, I'm feeling wonderful. So wonderful that I thought I would come outside for a while and enjoy the breeze. Does that mean you really were feeling sick? Do you believe Lisa to be keeping secrets from you, Kalilika? I know how perceptive you can be, and how much genuine concern you hold for the well-being of those around you. Y yeah, I thought she might be hiding something. Lisa's claim is roughly half true and half understandably false. My body is quite different to that of yours. I don't take ill in quite the same manner as you. So, are you okay or aren't you? The process my body is undergoing right now is more unique than mere sickness. And it is for that reason that I summoned Adol here. What do you mean by unique? <laughs> Lord Eldiel? I hadn't expected this to occur again so soon. Please, Adol, Kalilika, you must stay back. What? What? What's happening? His hair and his wings are changing color. Yo! Oh, so the dark Amelis, I guess, is taking over. Kinda. Because their bodies were made to keep... harness it. Or at least hold it back. But maybe it's... okay. I'm turning into an edgelord! Lord... Eldiel? Adol. Kristen. Yeah, what's up, dude? I thank you for sparing me the trouble of hunting you down myself. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> but have fun. <laughs> mm. 
Dude, don't you know your your left wing is clipping into the rocks? Doesn't that hurt? What endless bodies gave them an innate power to control back black amalus. Okay. But I'm guessing the black amalus can overcome them. Like it can taint them too hard. His tone is different. As though he has become a completely different person. N no. No. Now I will have you return what is rightfully mine. Black Amalus is not evil as far as I know. Okay. What about that black orb? Or wait, no, I guess, I guess it was just all the bad people wanted to take over. But I thought it was the Black Amalus power, the black power, uh, or like the dark power from the Black Amalus that made the demons. The Mask of the Sun. Give it back! Mask of the sun? You humans are unworthy to bear such a powerful artifact. Only I am suited to possess such strength. This is not good. S stop this. Yeah, you, you never know when to give up. Nah. Lord Eldiel? Everything has returned to its original hue. What just happened? Yo, he he got into his he got into his chuny phase. And now he's all edgy. As if there are two people, or two divinities inhabiting the same body. That's gotta be what Lisa said that her so flustered. I don't blame her for wanting to keep quiet about it. Could he have always been like this? Perhaps this affliction has only begun occurring recently. My mind's on a mixture of the two. Something that hadn't happened for a long time, but just started flaring up again. Ah, here they come. How's he doing? He's sleeping now. He does look a little better, but... Not at all. I think this might be too much for us to handle right now. I'm worried about Eldia, but we need to go back to town and talk to the mayor or something. Figure out what to... Hey. What is it? I smell something... strange. It's not me, I swear! No. I smell it too. It seems to be riding on the wind. From quite a distance away. Is the smell of fire? Quite a distance, as in... Highland? Oh no. Is that... smoke? Oh no. No way. That's cannon fire! What does cannon mean? Wait, are you talking about the weapons used by your military? Oh fuck, is Rom attacking Highland? Who could bring something like that all the way here? It couldn't be. Grandfather! Lisa! At all, Kalilka and, I, Kalilka and I reactivated the elevator to the bottom floor while we were looking after Eldiel. We can use that to get out of here right now. Come on! Just hurry to Highland. Right! Lord Eldiel, we'll be back with Lisa soon. White wings. Okay, so let's check out his skills, all his things. All right, level three, level three, level three, level three. Okay. Hers, level two, level two, level two, level two. Hers. She has two level threes, but she also has more moves. Oh, she has three level threes. Boys and I, okay. I know it's only on the higher ones that I'm working on. Um, so shocks, right? First floor. Black Pearl. That is not evil. It spawned demons as a response to overuse of its power? Okay. Interesting. Unfortunately, this untrick uses the Black Pearl's magic gave birth to demonic essence. The twist embodiment of the Black Pearl's will that corrupts everything in contact with it. Yeah, the Black Pearl's will. So, unchecked usage, I guess, spawned a malignant will. It was so much more convenient than those damn stairs. Wish we could have used this on the way up, too. I what made it stop working. I still have no idea. I can't imagine Lord Eldio would shut it off himself. A fan of darkness wanted that power for Karna, can you sense it too? 
Yeah, we're not alone in here. Then that was why the pearl was evil into. Oh. No, don't say that. We really don't have any time to be hanging around here anymore. I just like leaving under the circumstances, but I agree. I must hurry back to Highland. Stay trouble. Uh, okay, darkness. We're the ancestors of what happened in six. Ah, six. Oh, I was playing six right now. Damn. Okay, so curious as to who did the cannon fire. Also curious as to why they did it. And how they got here. Uh This is four, six is art. Okay, okay, you're going in Okay, you're going in canonical. Okay, like order. I was going in the game release order. I was like, wait a second. The next game I'm playing is seven, and this game came out before it. Is this not six? <laughs> okay. So, okay. So six is are going to pitch them. Okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. This is awful. Lilica. Fortunately, it appears none of the residents were harmed. Every blast looks to have been directed at the roads. This game came out after seven. Wait, this game came out after seven? Yeah, okay, so this game came out after seven, but this is a remake of a game that came out before seven, right? Or. <laughs> this was V7? It was PSP, just like Oath. This was V. Okay. They were just warning shots? Come on, Adol. Let's get to Kaloka's house. Careful, though. The attackers might still be around. They'll get there so fast. Huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, these are Roman soldiers, but with the control masks on. Okay. This is a reimagining of 4, which was made on Saturn PC that is now not can Okay. Masks? No. Are these the same masked invaders as the ones you spoke of, Karna? I don't know. Masks look different, but... Pretty sure that's Roman army regalia they're wearing. So that really was Roman cannon fire, then. But why? Why are you doing this? No response here, either. Just like in Komodo. This isn't looking good. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. whole bunch of them. <laughs> look at all those stat effects on them, like... Okay, that was easy. <laughs> so much status effects on them. Their strength, their reaction speeds, is exactly the same as in Komodo. It's like they aren't even human. If they are soldiers from your Roman army, that would imply they are well-trained even without the power of the masks. I'm uncertain how long we can stand our ground against a foe this powerful. We're fine. I believe we may be out of options. Stand down. Oh, yo, it's this guy! Yeah, he's totally evil. Friggin... Yup. He has that evil feel. Isn't that... I mean, Kaznan, right? Yeah, he says his name was Gr his name's Gruda, and he's in charge of the Roman army. <laughs> At all, Kristen. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Allow me to extend my deepest gratitude for guiding us to Highland. Why would you do this? I am, after all, under no obligation to discuss my actions with you. You mobilize quickly, considering we only just got here recently ourselves. I take it you are well informed. Uh, are you after Lord Eldiel's tower? Uh, 
<laughs> the knowledge of the sanctuary is great indeed, but it represents only the tiniest footnote in our grand scheme. Our true objective lies even deeper in the forest. Deeper? No. You can't mean... Oh. Behold, the ancient tower that falls silent. The rains which have fallen for hundreds of years cease at last, and night gives way to dawn. Sky, it's... Oh, okay. And now the river's gonna calm down. Oh god, no. That's not good. No and the Roman army's gonna be able to go. Oh god, no. No. No! You... What did you do to Lord Eldia's tower? <laughs> Can't you tell just by looking? We disabled it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no more pesky barrier. No more annoying thunderstorms. Full access to all, now and forevermore. We're gonna have to kill these guys, like, hard. You! What are you doing here? You both have done excellent work. Fami, your experiments with the masks have proven most enlightening. And Goddess, your investigation of the primeval lens has yielded invaluable data. <laughs> it is an honor to be of service. <laughs> About time I get some recognition. I have confirmed that the object we seek is not here. As such, please com commence preparations for the next phase of the plan immediately. Gotcha. I will say his face has like the doggy jawline in like for like Lacrimosa of Donna. Like I feel I feel like his face shape is very doggy face shape or even dirt in face shape. What should we do with the girl? Leave her be for now. She may uh, prove useful. I see. Understood. Wait! Experiments? So that ma means the masks here are... Oh. I'm sorry, little girl. I'm afraid I haven't the time to be playing with you right now. Take care of them. <laughs> really now? What do you think you're doing here? Oh, so he knows Darren. Wait! Get out of the way! You're too late. You should just give up now and save yourself a lot of effort. Dear sister... <gasps> no, it can't be. Yo, it's Remnos. His mask is off. What? Remnos? What are you? <laughs> it's lovely to see you again, Adol. You're wanted back in Komodo. I'm afraid I will continue to be, as I have no intention of returning home. I have my duties now, as Commander Remnos of the Mass Division, and to my superior, Lord Gruda. What are you saying? Oh, I get it. You're still under that woman's control, aren't you? Nope. I'm afraid not. It is true that Bami had placed me under her power back in Komodo. But now I've chosen to become a member of the Mass Division by my own free will. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, what? Did you come all this way looking for me? To rescue me from myself, perhaps? If so, I'd suggest you go back home now. Maybe Adal can talk some sense into you. I heard the truth about you, Remnos. From father and that woman alike. They told me that you're actually really strong, but hid it from me because you were afraid I'd be hurt. Because that's the kind of thoughtful, selfless person you are. <laughs> the truth? There seems to be a great misunderstanding here. I just didn't care about hunting or fighting enough to give it my all. Nothing more. No. This forest holds a secret beyond imagination. A secret I want to know. I want to know what happened here in ancient times. Lord Gruda modeled these after the Mask of the Sun that appears in ancient legends, you know. What Bami was doing in Komodo was testing out some of the prototypes. But my lord's true objective here is much greater and more noble than you could possibly imagine. I must see it fulfilled, and bear witness to the results of his glorious vision. It's a much more worthwhile pursuit than wasting my life away in a backwoods village like Komodo. <laughs> backwoods? That's quite literal. Okay, I think I understand. That's all the more reason I'm going to have to drag you back home kicking and screaming. What? I don't want to believe it, but maybe you are telling the truth. Maybe life in Komodo has been unfulfilling for you. It sucks. But I can't sit by and watch you hurt people like this. And I can't bear to see you rely on some mask to get your way. When the younger brother starts walking a dangerous path like this, it's his older sister's job to put him right again. So like it or not, you're coming home with me, Remnos. Oh dear, this conversation isn't going anywhere. 
I'm surprised you can be so confident in the face of such overwhelming power. This is where we part ways. Keep them occupied while I take my leave. More combat, or...? Uh, no, okay. Just auto-outing. Yeah, they should be heading your way now. Just pass that on. What? I know, I know, you don't have to keep telling me. Yeah. Yeah. Alright then. Good luck. Okay, so he talks to like a weird magic orb. Is he a spy? <sighs> Looks like I can't delay this any longer. Okay. The plot thickens like a good roux or a good stew. Residents are still in a state of confusion. Considering this town has known nothing but peace for hundreds of years, it is hardly surprising. Far too much has happened in too short a space of time. You need to consider what to do next at all. The Romans sure didn't hang around long. I think they really are heading farther into the forest. What do you think Gruta is searching for? Mask of the Sun? Eldio. Uh, well, they know Eldio's in the tower, so Mask of the Sun. I agree. That does seem the most likely possibility. Yeah. When Eldio started changing, he was demanding that Adol give it back to him. You remember the piece of paper that we found in your grave, Adol? Said Tower. Said, receive the mask from. Correct. Before losing his memories, Adol must have received the Mask of the Sun from Eldio. Then, when Eldio changed personalities during our conversation with him, he told Adol to return that which had been given. That is the most plausible course of events. Meanwhile, Gruta was using Gaddis and Bami to study the Mask of the Sun, even make copies of it. And now they've come to the primeval lands to get the real one. I see. However, we still do not know exactly what the Mask of the Sun even is. Do you have any information you can share with us, Mayor? Kingdom of Salceda. Kingdom of Salceda? In ancient times, a kingdom by that name existed in this region. Supposedly, Lord Eldio assisted in its rulings many hundreds of years ago. It's also said that the kingdom flourished thanks to the power granted by the Mask of the Sun. However, something happened that caused the once prosperous kingdom to be destroyed. Precious few traces remain now. Uh, what happened? I'm afraid I cannot say. Supposedly the people of Highland are descendants of the Kingdom of Salceda, but no records exist which describe exactly how the kingdom fell. Lord Eldia has never spoken of it, however. Uh, spoken of it, either. I see. It seems our best option would be to meet him again and ask him to tell us all he knows, however. We're back! Excellent timing. How'd it go? Well, uh... Lord Eldil has vanished? We searched the area all around the tower, but there was no trace of him anywhere. Ordinarily, he would, be, he would only leave his room to visit the town, and even that occurs with marked rarity. And unfortunately, the bad news doesn't stop there. I'm afraid we can't find Lisa anywhere, either. Gruta have abducted her. Lisa may seem... Dainty, but she's actually pretty quick-witted. I don't think she would allow herself to be captured so easily. Still, I'm worried about both her and Eldiel. We need to do something. Who is it now? We're busy, you know. Could it be Lisa? God damn it. Uh, fine. How the fuck? Is this the mayor's house? I am the great commander Leo of the Roman Imperial Sasseltan Army. Damn that Gruda. How could he leave a fine warrior like me behind? Hmm. Oh, they've been treating us like we're nothing but trouble since the beginning. Aww. Oh, I love this mess too! Silence! The soldiers of the glorious Celsetan army have no need for such suspicious masks. Seems like the Romans are a little out of sorts right now too. Has Gruder been here yet? I can't find him anywhere. Uh... He went ahead already. Hmm. What? He went on ahead! That was not on the orders we received from the office of the Governor General. Ours were to claim the mayor's home and use it as a base from which we would enact martial law upon the town. Fucking ROM, man. He just barging into Highland. Those orders are void. God damn. 
So I guess since the tower stopped functioning, the barrier around it that makes people forget about it when they leave or me because right doesn't the barrier have like as far as i understood it was like a warding mechanism right like it was like oh we're warding people from getting here and it or wait was it it was the tower made the river impassable and the barrier that made you forget when you leave i don't think there was any actual warding right it was all just the river so I guess once you know you could go, like, you know of the secret path to go under the river, it's just open, it's just free game. And now that the river is now not crazy because the tower and the storm are gone, they could have passed with boats. Governor General, what brings you to a place like uh, Manvali? I don't understand that you're in the presence of the Governor General. At ease, Leo. Unbelievable. Governor General herself coming all the way here? First and foremost, allow me to extend my most heartfelt apologies for the actions of my fellow soldiers. I realize no apology could possibly be sufficient given the circumstances, but I do beg your forgiveness nonetheless. What's going on here? I've heard rumors of you, Griselda. Normally, one would not expect to find a woman of noble standing like yourself in a place such as this. You're well informed, I see. However, I have difficulty understanding her actions. First you shell our town, and then you come to apologize. You are correct that Gruda is an officer sent by Rom and part of the Roman army. However, his orders were to investigate the primeval lands and report back to us with his findings. Nothing more. His actions were in no way sanctioned by Rom. What? A soldier not obeying orders? How disgraceful! Commander Leo, you will continue following the movements of Gruda and his men and report back to me. Pursue them as deep into the Great Forest as is necessary. Y yes ma'am! Now, Mayor Aaron, I realize this may startle the people of Highland, and for that I apologize, but I would like to station my soldiers here. What? Hmm. We cannot have the existence of Highland becoming common knowledge outside of the Great Forest. As such, I would like soldiers of my army to stand guard between here and the river, to prevent any further intruders. I give you my word that they will cause no harm to the people of Highland under any circumstances. So that's the situation, is it? Grandfather. Very well. You have my blessing in this. Do as you wish. I'm grateful to you for your understanding. See, I worry that they might go into the tower and then take some shit back to Rom. Because, right, that was the entire idea where Eldiel gave the plans to the uh, Altaginian uh, people for the new, like, warship or whatever to keep Rom at bay, to keep, like, the status quo going. But now the, the tower and him are not even there, but all his information and knowledge and stuff are still up in that room. As for you, Adol Kristen, you are free to continue your journey. Is there some kind of trap? <laughs> There's no need to be on guard. I feel that you are a vital piece of the puzzle that is currently unfolding in this region. And with even a single piece missing, the puzzle cannot be completed. Dude, Griselda? Pretty, 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 pretty chill. Pretty nice. And that's about the gist of it. What should we do now at all? Chase after Gruda. Search for Eldio. Got chase after Gruda. Yeah, I'm worried about that mask of the sun they're looking for. Really doesn't sound like something they should have. But I will say, because if I remember right, right, because... Lacrimosa Dawn takes place after this, and Griselda said, yeah, because isn't, like, isn't this game the entire reason why Rom is after at all? Like, whatever he does here is, like, the reason why Rom at large is pissed at him. <laughs> I feel like I remember Griselda mentioning something like that. Being like, oh, yeah, no, I'm not after you currently from Rom due to your actions in Salsada. We're chill right now on this island. Whatever you decide to do, I'd suggest that you cross the sanctuary and journey deeper into the forest. One lies beyond the sanctuary. A place called the Ashen Forest. Not exactly, Rom isn't pissed, they just deem Adol too great a threat to ignore. Ah, oh, okay. So they're not mad, they're just like, you're too strong. You're too good. You, you do far too much things. <laughs> Then it sits a settlement where the descendants of those who crossed the distant ocean with the Lord Eldia live. 
is known as the Village of the Wise. Village of the Wise? Unlike the other people Lord Eldia brought here, said so they've chosen to live in isolation. No one is certain why, however. But they may know something about the Mask of the Sun, as well as Lord Eldia's changes. Sounds like it'd be worth a visit then, for sure, and, uh, and uh, not to change the subject, but... Why is Kalilka standing here, all packed up and looking like she's ready to leave? What a silly question. I'm worried about Lord Eldiel too, you know. And Lisa! At all, I would ask that you please take Kalilka with you on your journey. Whatever happens as a result of this current crisis, I feel it will have repercussions throughout the land. Gain the attention over the course of several games, and as East Nine will say in a funny scene, might be running an insurance racket with broken chips. <laughs> That's great. I mean, frankly, that would be pretty freaking hilarious. Because, yeah, is it, like, East Nine is the, what, latest entry in the timeline? Uh, and that's the one where, like, he literally is, like, just imprisoned in Prison City just for being at all, Kristen. <laughs> <clears throat> and traveling with Kalilka, uh, good will give Kalilka... And traveling will give Kalilka a good opportunity to decide what path she should walk from this time forward. Currently, yes. Okay. Grandfather. Furthermore, if you are journeying to the Village of the Wise, it may be helpful to have someone from Highland with you. Uh, happy to have you, Kalilka. The pleasure is all mine, Adol. Matter is settled, then. Uh, nice to have you with us. Yes. Thank you. Ah, yes, Adol. Please take this as well. See, I, I've been thinking, I'm like, East is one of those perfect series where, like, there is actually no reason why they can't just put an adventure whenever they want in the timeline. Because it's like, oh yeah, because it's not like, it's never stated that it's like, oh yeah, one, like, one adventure per year, right? It's like, oh no, there's nothing saying that, you could just put a new adventure wherever, so long as you don't, like, fuck things up too bad, right? <laughs> like, you can put literally wherever. I hope at some point they do a game where he's like 58 <laughs> and he's just like old and like he's it's like ah my arthritis. <laughs> Check out he got Golden Wing, dude, freaking Go Golden Wind, jo Jojo, oh. Gang Star. Oh, allow you to warp to any of them. Oh, <laughs> you've touched in the entirety of the forest, no matter where you are. Oh my God, thank you so flipping much. This would normally be given to apostles only, but I believe in the importance of your mission. It will serve you well. Oh, baby! It's the best! So we don't have to go find the nearest monolith whenever we want to warp? That sounds incredibly useful. Thanks! Now, take care of that, all of you. And best of luck! Oh my god. Okay, look, I rejoined the party. Going guys, to warp to monolith from the map- To warp to monolith from the map of Salsada! Nice! Open the map, select warp. Yo, that's even better. You can access Quest in Highland. Yo! <laughs> My ground get disappeared one day and he's on the phone. I can swap like that. Oh, good to see you! Did you see my request on the- No, I didn't. I was trying to find the board. Is there something you want us to do? Yeah, there is, yes. I was less frequent, more of a discussion. I want to have something to look at your artifacts. Something you'd like to address, huh? This is about the service of yours, isn't it? Are you going to tell them, then? Indeed I am. Oh, sorry, Adol. You probably have no idea what we're talking about. Now that the mayor's accepted you, I'm free to discuss this with you. This workshop here is also known as the Artifact Workshop. And as the name implies, I handle special items called artifacts here. That's what we call complex magically imbued objects, like my mace and the street lights in this town. Basically, anything operated using mystical energy rather than oil, coal, or other more physical forms of power. Indeed, and all the artifacts in this town were presented to us by Lord Eldie. In general, only apostles and apprentice apostles are allowed to possess them for their own personal use. But it seems you already have a few in your possession as well, Adol. Imagine they too must originate from the same source as the ones here. Regardless, the reason I have summoned you here today is to offer my services. I can unleash the full potential of your artifacts. Unleash their- How? Bring me gems, I can boost the performance of your artifacts substantially. Yo, personal. 
<laughs> Artifacts contain essentially limitless potential. However, unless that potential has specifically been unleashed, most artifacts only utilize a small portion of it. And that's where my services come in. I can release the true potential of any artifacts you find. But to do so, I'll need power stones, gems containing magical power, few of which still remain in existence. <laughs> I see. Do you really understand all of that at all? Even if you didn't, I'm sure you will after you see it for yourself. Start AC revelations with that. Ezio has to spend a week recovering from a fall since canonically he is like a 40 plus at that point. <laughs> yeah, he's an old man. Ezio Avatar. My first Assassin's Creed game was, I think, the one where he goes to, I think, Constantinople, I think. Uh, you not get there. I was filming as the masked man in the first three personas. Yo, persona? Full, full potential. I, I gotta tell you, I didn't play the... That's Revelation. Ah, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I, d I don't remember that game all that well. Gotta say. Or did I play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood? It was one of the, it was one of the ones that you play as Ezio, but I can't remember if it was Revelations or that one that I played. Um, but, yeah, I played Persona 3, but only for a little bit. So... Two is all around Italy, Brotherhood is Rome, Revelations, and Con. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, it was Revelations then. Uh, would you be able to show us, Philemon? I'd love to, but while well, I have the facilities and technology, I'm a bit short on materials at the moment. I say Venice, Florence, and one other one, too? Okay. Can I ask you to bring me some gems? I knew this wouldn't be as simple as it sounded. What is it you need? How about I unleash the power of your dwarf race there first? But I'll need one emerald and one topaz. One emerald and one topaz, huh? Those aren't going to come cheap. That's what you need. That's what you need. Let's go see if we can track down those gems at all. I actually have had you. Okay, cool. Well, I have those. I know I do. Because I have don't really use them to upgrade anything. Here you go, Philman. We've been, brought the gems you requested. This easily seems like the best use of gems. It worth. <laughs> like, this seems like the best use of gems that the game has presented me so far. So I'm really glad I have not used them in blacksmithing. Thank you. Yeah, so let's get started then. Well, it looks like the process was successful. Dwarf base at plus. So what does it do? What's different about it? Will it last to become even smaller or something? No, it doesn't work that way. Instead, you can now maintain your physical strength when you... Ah! So even when you're mid you can still fight as you would normally. I see. Useful if not a little boring. <laughs> boring? Boring or not, that's the general gist of what I can do for you. Oh, and tamale? Yes, Gramps? I don't know if friends are going to be regular customers for me on. So see them if they need anything. We ain't man now, yo! Mm, Alright. Well, do feel free to come back if you need our services again. If you want one of your artifacts unleashed, just talk to Tamale. All done. Thank you. You can now use Philman's Workshop. Philman's Workshop, you can use materials to unleash the full potential. Each artifact receives a different bonus when unleashed. See, this is something where I can definitely understand why they didn't keep this in, like, Lacrimosa of Donna. Because, <laughs> like, you get all the same artifacts, it feels. But, like, having an additional thing to upgrade. Um, okay. So, additional damage underwater. Sure, Ruby Sapphire. Yeah, I'll take that. Boom. Oh, you can upgrade it more than once? Okay. Oh, wait, no. That's still the plus. Gale Shoes allows party to do run up certain slopes, hold circle. Oh, dashing knocks back enemies. That's it. Um, Emerald Sapphire. Yeah, let's take that. Spear Cape. Increase it. Okay, I need an Amethyst. Because I want that increased recovery speed. Um, uh, so, where even is the board? Um, does this... T wait, he, is he the exchange guy? By exchange, exchange... Blue stone... No, I can only get... You can only get stones and stuff. But I have 19 of those, so I'm presuming blue means I can make amethyst. Okay, so where is the quest board in this town? Okay, well, you have a quest, so maybe I'll just find them naturally. Thank you for coming. Did you see my quest? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't seen it yet. Is there something we can help you with? Actually, I'd like you to defeat a group of guardians. Guardians? What do you mean exactly? 
Tower Gardens, you know, they're fine if they remain inside the tower, but for some reason, possibly because of the storm abating, several of them have wandered out into the sanctuary. They haven't gone too far yet, but they have gone to Behewa. Can't imagine they trek all the way to town, but it's not a risk I'm willing to take. It's no hurry, so you can take care of this request whenever you get the opportunity, assuming you're willing to help, that is. Of course, leave it to us. Right at all? Thank you very much. The gardens in, in question look a lot like inslapes, but there will be some visible differences. They're also likely to be much longer than the inslapes you've been carrying in the tower before. Confirm five of them told, they prefer to attack in groups, so if you can defeat them all, the problem will be solved. Thank you again, and do take care. Okay. Cool. Easy enough. System save. Haven't saved in a bit. Um. Okay, so they're over there. I missed the chest. God flipping shit bricks. Uh uh. Come on. Can I, can I only... Wait. Do I have to be, like, out in the world to be able to teleport? Or do I... Oh, wait, no. Okay, that's it. I have to hit warp. Okay. So there's map side and warp side. But now at least I can explore this area freely. Without having to worry. There we go. Oh, look at you guys. You guys seem so fun. Uh, what are my skills looking at on her? Uh, let's just spend plenty a few more, so that's not bad. I wonder, does... I wonder if the boots are one of the fastest ways to get um, SP to kind of do this kind of thing. Because it's by distance traveled, isn't it? I guess this is slightly faster than the boots. Maybe if you chain them. And also if you're paralyzed, it helps a lot. Oh yeah, with the boots on, it doesn't even regen it. That's weird. That's actually really stupid. I think. Um... Oh, wait, no, that's why. Okay. I was like, oh, no, I missed... That's why I missed ones. Because, story-wise, it took me out really quickly. But there were those um, chests. Uh, there was the chest of... Items right over here, I think. Or wait, no, it was. It was elsewhere. Where was the chest? Um, it was there. Okay. Right across. There we go. Spin level two, that's what we, that's what we like. A whole bunch of things. Freaking mimics. Although I will say these mimics not as disconcerting, uh, disconcerting as um, uh, as the mimics in Dark Souls, because the mimics in Dark Souls just have this weird like way about them, like the like the the 
overly human long arms. Weird. Um, okay, so... This is really good. Skill gain plus three. That's gonna make leveling up my crap even better. So now at this point, Island Town. Yeah, so I need to check to see if I can find. Like, I need to find out where the. Um, wait. I need to find out where the. Um, what should we call it is? The the quest board is it like just in town, like about. Where is it? Uh, oh, there. Okay, I didn't realize this was a shop. or Because it's not green like all the other ones, let's see, if I remember right. Okay, only genre packs. Okay, personal quest. Wish to purchase three silver ingots for a high price. Come to my Una market. Okay. Okay, so I've already taken care of the thing, so I just need to go back to the cathedral. Where's the Una market? Silver ingot. Hey, you come to send me some silver ingots? Looks like you brought the goods. I have about 10,000 gold for three of them. Sure. Alright, it's a deal. Look forward to doing business with you again. I don't know what would have happened if I asked for more, but whatever. 10,000 is good. You managed to defeat the Guardians? Thank you so much! It's not a lot, but please accept this for your efforts. Picked 5,000 gold. It wouldn't have been possible if not for my elegant combat skills. I'm sure! You've become a lot stronger recently, in such a short amount of time, too! Really? Absolutely, of course, you can't let that get to your head. You've got plenty more growing to do. So I'm sure you can become even stronger by following the example of Adol and his friends. Thank you, I will! That wraps that up! Wait, Guardians... So the question is... Are there any other party members? So that's all the quests there. So um I need to go check Celray. I'll just go I'll just go closest town to farthest town. Yeah, so is um is um the boots faster than uh, rolling if um if there's anyone who can use knives or spears and is up for helping me out, please come to this mountain. Okay, cool, perfect. Is there any... Is the... Um, I really am just having trouble getting my words out. Are the boots at full speed faster than chained rolls? Yeah, slightly faster, but it's a lot more difficult. Yeah, okay. So if I like if there's instances where it's like straight line then boots, but if not, then don't. Refine, can I Okay, so that's it. You refine purple stones and amethysts. Okay, I'll make four of them. Just to make sure I have them. Hey, how's it going? Plus if you hadn't upgraded them, then you would crash in that. Ah, uh, okay. Hey there! I made a couple more amazing weapons I need to help testing. You feel like lending me a hand? Except. Anyway, thanks! After hearing Duran talk about what happened last time, I have to admit I'm kind of nervous. You're not going to ask us to test something harmful to our well-being again, are you? What? Of course not! It's a hyper weapon! I have a bad feeling about this. I'll let you see for yourselves. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. You've done this before, so I don't think I need to explain much more. The two weapons I have for you this time are an amazing knife or a perilous spear. Which would you rather test? Perilous. Sounds like someone's going to suffer either way. You can choose, Adol. I promise we won't hate you for it. Choose the knife. Oh, that's a boy. All right, here you go. 
Picked up amazing vicious vis oh amazing viscous knives, not vicious. See, I remember I thought viscous was pronounced viscuous. Like I added letters. Like I always thought it was oh it's viscous. Viscuous. Not viscous. <laughs> Same principle as last time, equipping and defeat a set number of beasts with it. This time I want the lucky subject to defeat five crockles. Can't remember where to find them, so I'll leave that part up to you. Just make sure you take down five of them. And best of luck to you. Okay, so five cars. Well, first of all, what's this amazing? Heavy. Heavy 30%. This probably equips heavy on me. So maybe what I'll do is see if this makes it so that doesn't happen. Um, but I need to go to journal, and I need to find where crockles exist. Um, crockles. Okay, Crockle. So these... Where is this? This is Algon... Wait, no, yeah, this is Algon River Basin. Okay, so where's the... Wait a second. Oh yeah, no, that's just... That's right, like, north of here. Okay. Thank you for not asking me to leave very far. Right, it's over here, I think, they are. One over here. Yeah, so putting on the prevent heavy is really nice. Okay, so that is Rocco. Okay, so here's how I'll do it. Uh, here, in this weird quest, cheating gamer. What are you talking about? It's called being a smart gamer, my guy. I just love doing flash guard, just mashing it, and getting the proc over and over and over. Okay, so that is two. God damn it, these things, <laughs> they read me so hard. Um, okay, so actually I'm curious. So I've been doing a lot of Mistral Spin. So 218, how much does... How much does one do? Because it should do, what, like four? Damn it. Go. Let's just spin two, four. Yeah, okay, it does four, so that's... Skill XP thing four is gonna be so nice. See, it makes me almost regret the fact that I grind it up with at all so much. Um, okay, so let's wait. I guess the underground ruins is just a fine place to sit still and Are you get still your HP ready? back. Weird. Didn't realize that. Um, I do need to drink some water, as my as my bot told me so.
good, good, good. Okay, so I think that was, what, three or four? Damn it. Luckily, this thing's moves are crazy easy to choreograph. Yeah. Five Chronicles with the prototype weapon equipped. Awesome. Easy as pie. Give me your titanic bones, please. Okay. And how much? I just only need 78 left. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Might as well, right? Try and... Sorry. Yeah, so having that having that weapon skill boost is gonna be so nice. There you go. Yeah, it looks like you finished the test. So what did you think? Wasn't it amazing? <laughs> it was superb. What part of that knife was superb? I how laughable some of these mission requirements are to a 100% playthrough. <laughs> if it's 100%, would you not need to get every item? Which means you would need to play through the game twice to get both versions of the, of like the quest item. Or oh no, you're talking about Xenoblade X. This mission has a prereq of surveying 18% of the planet. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have asked. I'll get to work on it. Fine now. Hang on a sec. Yes, and now I said it if you care about that. There, it's done. I name it the incredible, glorious, stunning. So you give it up already. You're calling it the Spider Edge, and that's final. The mission objective is 20% of the planet. Damn. Hey, old man, don't remember me when I'm in the middle of Spider Edge. Wait a second, are you seriously going with that? That's not my name, how can you let him override me? He has nothing to do with this! I'm at 50%, 70% of the oh, okay, so it's pre-rack of 18, so basically you picked it up and finished it. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to be associated with it anymore. If that's how you're going to treat me, henceforth, that's an Alan Smithy work. Thank you. Okay, so we are just going to have the Spider Edge equipped, because that's just better. Uh, but now I don't need the Prevent Heavy, so I can go back to the Decrease, um, I can do Decrease SP Consumption, which will make other things a little bit faster. Um, where are my levels looking like? 30, 30, 30. Wait, why is she so much farther ahead in 30 than Adol is? Adol has the... Adol has the... Oh, no, he doesn't have the more XP. Okay. He has the more gold. Okay, more XP on skill finish. You know what? Uh, oh, wait, no. I put the more XP on... Yeah, him in the passive. And it seems like it does help in the passive quite a bit. Um, so, you know what I'm going to do? I'll actually remove it and put it on him. Uh, see, I don't know if the other party members... If them having stuff on pass it, like, if having the, like, I don't know if it's only the person that has this on increases drop rate of rare items, or if it's the party at that point that's on. I don't know. But this seems to actually have some effect on the XP yield. Um. Okay. Chances are I'm going to have to put the, uh, uh, 
gonna have to put, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the XP thing on at all. Okay, so that was Celery, so let's go to Komodo. I was about to say Kodomo. That's not right. Komodo! Moves out while I'm here. Be rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Um, where it was up, right? Um, do you have anything you needed? I needed. No, I think. Where was I? I think so. Okay, one. Then I check my dear Ted has run away from home, but someone please help me find him. I'll explain everything in your person, so come to my house. Okay, so we're gonna find the chicken again. Lovely. Who wants to bet this is not the last chicken finding mission? So I'm Pippi. I'm terribly sorry for troubling you with this again. Would you be willing to go bring back another of my dear little ones? Except. Thank you so much, I really appreciate your help. So where are we looking for this time? This time it's little Teva who's run away. He's still just a chick, so he's full of energy and just loves playing around. And he's particularly enjoys hiding in the shade. A chick hiding in the shade? Sounds like a tall order this time. I'm afraid so, and he's just as cautious as Sasami too. You'll need to approach him from behind just like before. Oh, I don't think it's likely to have wandered into anyone's home either, so he should be somewhere outdoors. In the village outside, same as last time. Check. Just leave everything to us. We'll have him back here before you know. Okay, so let's save, system save. Now, eh? Okay, so let's do scope of the place. This is my house. I'm just trying to find, like, essentially the first instance of it just, like, kind of auto-failing, right? Where I'll be like, oh yeah, you found him, but then he ran away. But I guess maybe not. Alright, I'm just to try and... Is he at, like, the base of the... In that area that's like not quite exactly the town. Like out here. Here's a fruit. Here's a Cheeto nut. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. So I guess that's not because of town. So I guess I gotta look a little bit closer. So I was expecting, like, something like the chicken, right, where before it was, like, in a place where you had no choice but to approach it from the front. But, in this case, maybe not. Okay. So, in the shade. See, there's a lot of shade here, I gotta say. Oh, okay, so it's a very tiny chick. Damn. That's looking right at us. We're not going to be able to approach from here. Okay, so found the auto one. It just didn't... It was a little bit too far into the into the corner for me to really be able to see. I see. I saw the. Th I saw the small little yellow thing, but I wasn't sure. I thought that may have actually just been. <laughs> I thought that was just part of the thing. Gotcha. Let's take you back to Pippi. Thank you so much for bringing my lovely Teva back home safe and sound. Here's the reward I promised. Gold ore nine. Damn. Thanks. 
Now play nice with them, okay? Of course. Of course! The naughty chick. Oh yes, you naughty chick. You chickly doodle doo. Uh, quests. So Kaznan. I forget how many quests are there in this game? Yeah, I think I, I feel like I remember you saying it was like 30 something, 32, 36. Um Yeah, I definitely want to go back over here, check to see if I can actually get past those things now. Oh yeah, I got Amethyst, so I need to also go back to Highland and upgrade the uh Uh, and upgrade the what you call it. Hey. Uh, okay, so no quest there. Do I have 57%? I don't think I have anything to report to. Oh, uh, interesting. So you can kind of chain the dash back into full speed. You come to report your progress. Let's hear it then. Hey, please, you made excellent progress. I'm going to do a little shape stuff, talk about yourself, such a short period of time. You wait here. Oh, it's pretty moving to hear that. Thank you. Why? Just why? Agreed to. I'm glad the opinion of this officer means so much to you. <laughs> Robinagian Gigantic. What? The God? Why that name? I also have another reward for you in addition to your payment. Please accept it. Ooh, Aeolus Urn. Nice! So I'm guessing that's a special thing. Attract item. Oh, yo! After being unleashed, you can obtain gold while simply walking around. Oh, yo, yo, yo! Yo, 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 yo! Here's your pen. That was gold. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Thank you very much, my fine lass. That is fantastic. You give me immediate reason to go back to Highland Town. I'm like, oh, you're going to give me another thing that I need to upgrade, and I was going to go there to upgrade things anyway? Please and thank you. Nice artifact. Bye. Spirit cape. One of those. Okay, so this one takes an amethyst, but this one takes an amethyst and a sapphire, but I have one sapphire already. Boom. Uh, and then... Pull gold, obtain, yeah, just obtain gold passively. That's pretty nice. Backtrack real world. Brobdenungan is a fictional land which is occupied by giants in Jonathan Swift's 1726 satirical novel Gulliver. Ah, oh. you know what? Okay. You know what? That, that makes a little bit. Okay, so I'm missing. I'm missing one. <laughs> I'm missing a artifact. Interesting. It is funny, just seeing the little, seeing seeing your party members just kind of dash out of their way to collect that piece of gold. I'm so rich. Mm, yes. I feel like, I feel like the existence of this urn would break the economy, right? Because this, like, I'm sitting still right now, right? So I mean, like, what happens when I sleep? Does it just continuously, like, do you just wake up to a bed full of money? Like, every day, do you just wake up more of a millionaire? Uh, slumdog millionaire. Um, okay. So we're gonna go... Yeah, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that, all that. Okay, so I want to come over here. Because... It's one story base, and then here one. Skill leveled up, Mistress Spin. It's a it's a fine move, but I think I'd rather have some of the other stuff. But as I said, um, the next one I want to level up is Shock Spark. So let's put that on Shock Spark. You can go to like Homing Knives. When dead, okay. <laughs> Uh, 
So in one story base, one is the uh, RSC of the Legends of Mad, and one is the Legends of Mad. Okay. So, is the one that I'm missing here, like, I can't imagine the one that I'm missing there being the Ares seal. Because that would be mean to leave it like that. I would imagine the bottom right one would be the Ares seal. Okay, so where am I looking? Right, I think it was down over here this way. Yeah, right. Honestly, pretty good to grind against um, these uh, weaker enemies because they just kind of let you um, freely get SP from killing them with your skill, which is nice. Good. Yeah, so what is this? Oh wait. Uh no. Uh also isn't it good that they can limit on their funding for a map with a round member can give us a pot of green, yeah, right? Okay, so I still don't so is this gonna be like a story thing where they like remove them? Or do I am I actually waiting for a character? Like that's that's my big thing right now. I'm like, am I still like? Is there another character that I'm gonna be getting? Um. Okay. So Karna, Shakespeare. He's 80. That's 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 that the Aquaman effect. Okay. Okay. So I definitely want to get because I would like to. Let's go. Did not mean to be named. I wanted to do some more of this. I wonder, because. Because this one is forest, right? Okay, yeah. So it doesn't, um, it doesn't boost your, uh, that doesn't boost your, um, what you call it, uh, SP. You have to kill things to do that. Um, I could go get some of the chests in the, uh, in the pond, right? Because, like, there are various places in this area that I wasn't able to get the chest for because it was underwater. Um, you know, let's go do that. So let's change my artifact to water dragon scales. Okay. Okay, so where's this chest? Just there. I think the chest is like over here. Let's take it up. Go, come on. Where are you? I want my underwater chest, please. Risky bandana. Nice. Uh, is this one that increase? It's like the 15, but for yeah, okay. The one that I thought about buying, but now I don't need to buy. Cool. Um, I can't remember any other like big things of water, or was that one of them? Maybe, maybe all the chests there. Currently. Uh, you yeah, know, that's probably it. Um. There. Um, let's go to Komodo and I'll go south. Artifact boots. Gotta go fast.
Okay. I think this will come out over there. And I see that lake over there. Stay where you are! This chest is kind of a ways from everything, but I want to go get it. Um, so maybe this one? Maybe this one would probably be the easiest. Go north for a bit. Almost powerful enough to hurt the hurt the hurt the pick guard. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. Close to level 50, can't wait. Level 50 is the next year for scales. Yo, what do the tiers for scales do? Obtain Crimson Scale Charm. Okay, so that's just don't get fire damage. Or don't get burned. Um, okay, so that's fine. So there's nothing. Nothing. I could come in here and try and find wherever the chest is, but. I, I wanted to check all these chests because I was wondering if maybe those were going to be the special uh, optional one. But. Okay, so I can either go left this way or left out of here. So I'll go here. Goes 30, 50, 60 with some DLC skills that were patched. Ah, okay. Okay, how much? Okay, I guess I will not go this way. Gotta gotta drop a thing down first. Um, okay, so how much shock spark? 320. Divide by four, thirty-two divided by four is eight. Right? Thirty-two divided by four is four, eight, sixteen, and times four. Okay, so so eighty. I need to use I need to use shock spark eighty times. Which frankly is not too bad. Given the amount of times it took to use other moves. For being absolutely real. Um, I don't know why I'm not uh, teleporting. Because uh, this must be fastest. Oh, wait, no, wait. No, wait, no. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and let's change this. Okay, and now I can actually. Yeah, so basically the idea of exploring this area in particular is wait until you turn the lightning off. See, I thought it was either going to be that, or you get something that just makes you immune to lightning. Like a story item, not necessarily an artifact. So let's get all that good map. Is there any other bits? I think I... I, think I uh, edge scraped most of the other uh, stuff. We should probably also save. Chaining skill finish is a pretty good way to just have SP to continue using those skills. No.
Curious. I put the XP thing on Do- uh, not Dogie, on Durin. Still level 27, so he's going slow, but... oh well. Yo. Ah. Uh. Do I have to go even higher up? I thought that that would be the position to... I guess I'll loop around up higher? Oh, no, you throw it from this angle. <laughs> okay, there we go. Kicking mine just by running next to some stuff. Artifact that just gives me a bigger mapping radius, so I don't have to go after every single edge every time. That'd be pretty cool. They'd be mean and give it to you at like 90%. Well, actually, no, I guess that would probably be the best time to give it to you. They kind of scrape everything. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be the best, right? Because you would want it as early as possible. Visit literally every area to scrape, but uh, there we go. 60.4. So, yeah, over and around. Yeah, so, it's gonna keep going down this way. small things. Because it's always just good to kill them. Because you know what? Their resources might be valuable. And also, I'm getting a whole bunch of skill. Shock Spark down to 104. So I was at, what? It was like something 320. Already down to so much less. Because I've, just I've decided, you know what? I'm going to just use this one skill. Okay, so that's like an elevator, not an elevator, a waterfall. <laughs> a water elevator, kinda. Okay, I need to... I need to check it. Okay, I can just go through it. I was not sure, I was like, what, what's gonna happen if I... 
gonna push me off or what, what, what are you doing I see waterfall I immediately get suspicious of movement This is the opposite. Oop, it's even got memory. Awesome. Cool, so let's uh, party, swap you with you for a hot second. <laughs> Blue tree earring. Curious as to what that does. Uh, and party. Swap. Leave it to me. Okay, so let's check out this blue tree. Blue tree increases obtained SP. Get more SP. Okay, that's awesome. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'll just do this on him. That way, it's not like specified to skill finishes. It's just general. I wonder when Adol's gonna get his next move. I see. So that's what happened when you were in Promac uh, Promalock. Well then, I guess the next thing I'd like to ask is... Hold on a minute, Kalilika. You've asked enough questions. At least, the rest, at least let the rest of us have a chance to sneak water too in. Yeah, it's not all yours. I suppose you're right. Okay, my turn. My question is about the, all the pit cards you run into on your travels. Yes, I think you can save stupid questions like that until the end of time. The end of time? More importantly, Adol, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Being pretty cute and a strong warrior, I'm sure you must have all the ladies swooning all over you. You haven't got a childhood friend back home you've sworn to spend your life with or something, have you? Or do you have a passionate encounters with different girls everywhere you go? <laughs> More of that second one, less of that first. I don't know whether to take that reaction to mean you're pure-hearted or if I hit the nail right on the head. Come to think of it, you seem to be getting on really well with Lisa. You're not after her, are you? If you are, I don't think you'll be getting off with just a slap on the wrist. I'm sure Adol would never approach such a serious matter half-heartedly. But if you ever were to make Lisa cry, I'd be forced to cut all that lovely red hair off in your sleep. You've been warned. I would love it if they made a. I, I would love it if they just randomly made a game, even if it was a small one, and for whatever reason, Adol was bored or was bald, and it's like, ah, okay. <laughs> if you know, you know, and they never touch upon why he's bald. Never. <laughs> it's just, if you know, you know. Adol, I think I speak for all men when I say I'm completely sympathized with your plight. Y yeah. Anyway, going back to the pick cards. Okay, everyone, how about this? If you all keep sharing poor Adol with questions, it's probably going to make him very uncomfortable. So from now on, everyone will be able to ask him one question, and one question only. What? I suppose that does make sense, though. At this rate, we'd be here for hours otherwise. Okay, finally. So starting with me. I really need to know. I really need to cover this question about the pick cards. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be deciding the order. And that order is me first. You've been asking him questions this whole time. You've had more than enough. Yeah, this isn't fair at all. Yeah, that's how Kalilika. No one's gonna be able to take control from her now. And all space decrease increased by one. I wonder. It is... It is a little bit faster. It's very slow. It's quite funny. It's when you see someone just like Naruto run. 
and they're going like they're not fast whatsoever. Hilarious. Like, look at me, I'm Naruto running, and it's like, yeah, look at you, you're Naruto running. You look so cool. I say to my like cough cough like twelve year old self. Skill get rising slash, nice. Okay, so that's good. So that's another that's another at all skill. Um what is, what is this? Rising slash twenty. Okay, so I have to have to do hard level up with him, but at least yeah, at least oh wait, sixteen. There we go. Only need four left. Boom. Leveled that one up. Okay, so that's maxed. So the last ones. So the last one for her to level up is her napalm shot. Which is her, like, super move, so that takes a bit. Yeah, it takes four full things. go. So you definitely want to get skill finishes with that move in particular. Um, and the thing is, that that's that move with the... Um, that's that move with the decrease um, SP. <laughs> Takes 32. So I think it's a 40 cost normally. Oh, Go. Skill finishes. Oh, yeah. You just got chain skill finishes and then you'll be good. But I just kind of want to finish Karna's moves that I have right now before swapping everything out to Adol. Cool. Mountain mid. Let's system save. The presence of beasts can no longer be felt in the surrounding area. The air is still and tranquil. Time to put a tent down! Uh, 62%. So that's good. So I can go back to Griselda. Uh, I can go back now. Because now revisiting doesn't, uh, doesn't really cost any time. It's just, you know, teleport, which is nice. It is a great quality of life addition, a decent way into the game. Enveloped in the clear air of the forest and the fragrance of the spirit tree, Adol felt his body drift into a deep, relaxing slumber. One of the memories sealed in the back of Adol's mind was restored! Oop. He's running. Adol appeared to be out of stamina and couldn't run any farther. Haha, <laughs> giving up already? Oh, okay, so I, I was running away from villain Eldia. <laughs> what did he honestly hope to achieve by giving it to a mere human? Such a pitiful attempt. Now behold as I, the true god, finally gained the ultimate power. Ah, and that's why I fell off the waterfall <laughs> instead of just leaving town normally. Okay. Rock, 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 rock. <sighs> Not again. How many times must you get in my way before you concede defeat? Good thing that I saw that at the bottom of the waterfall. Hmm. Are you okay at all? You're moaning in your sleep. Uh, I had a dream about Eldio. I an inkling it may be have been Aldeo who attacked you in this area. Though it does beg the question, why did he not finish you off? It was the same kind of situation as when we met him in the tower. Doesn't seem like his other personality is fully awoken just yet, so he probably snapped out of it or something. Yeah, but how long is he going to be able to fight turning into that other person for good? That's what I'm worried about. We definitely need to hurry. Come on, let's find that village. So find that memory fragment in the starting area now visible on the map. Wait, I missed one? Hmm. 
I miss any of those? No, it's just that one right there. Yeah. Gotta go get it. Don't want to advance any farther without getting the thing. Here I go. Let's go. Okay, so... What? Oh, it loops around, okay. I was like, wait, what the shit? Oh, this is an area I haven't been to before. Okay, that explains why I missed it. How many more do I need to use for this? 179, okay, that's not too bad. Or I did come I, maybe I did come here and just didn't. Interesting, I'm like Stonehenge. Let's do a couple attacks, then burn Napalm Shot and get that kill. So you're, you're just chaining SP. Warrior Seal 2. Okay, well, yeah, I got, got a three already. But I guess that would have helped if I didn't already buy multiple Warrior Seals. Um, okay, so let's come over here. Touch this light. What's the memory unlocking in my brain? Mm, yeah. What are you doing? Daddy, I'm sorry. I saw these books in this map and I... I... No, it's okay at all. You don't need to apologize. Daddy? Daddy! <laughs> A travel journalist? Does that mean you wrote all these books, Daddy? That's right. I traveled across a few nearby countries before finally settling in this village. Look at this map, Adol. It's said that the beautiful white flowers that grow in this canyon only bloom one night a year. Daddy? Hmm? Why did you become a travel journalist? Well, I... I suppose you could say I just wanted to see things with my own eyes. Ah, okay. So his dad was also a traveler, but he was not exactly a adventurer. He wasn't, he was not an adventurer. That's an adult Christian special. Go. Yeah. Got a little one over on the side to get the skill finish. Okay. Give me your fur. Um, skill. Napalm shot, 79. Okay. We're, we're getting through. We're getting through quite quickly. Um, any other ones? No? Okay. Good. Didn't want any other ones. Look at you guys. You're gonna present yourself to me so readily and openly. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take it. Yo. Okay. Let's save. System save. And then where do I wanna go? Do I wanna go south? 
There's a red one. Ooh. Are those like core memory? Oh, God. The map. I think. Yeah, the, they expanded the map in terms of the amount I could scroll to the left. They tricked me. I thought my thought my remaining map was highly limited, but not so. Skill finish. Subterranean forest. Interesting. Is this a dungeon? No, okay, so this is just straight up its own extra place. Must be getting there we go. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove that. Um we're going to put this on and we're gonna put uh this on. Then you're gonna put this on and you're gonna put Because Adol, right, Adol just has the one move that he needs to grind up right now, Rising Slash, so hopefully that should be pretty fine, pretty easy. I feel like I played most of the, yeah, I feel like I played most of the stream as Karna, <laughs> which is weird because, like, that, that, that didn't, like, happen in, like, any other, uh, that didn't happen in, like, uh, any other, uh, any other like, East game. At least they had parties, which is basically, for me, just Nakamosa Donna. Like, I'd begrudgingly play as other characters. Okay. That's damage lumber. My damage lumbar. No, my lumbar's fine, I think. Don't have great, don't have great, uh, don't have great boss, but my lumbar is fine. Skills, yeah, already, already only like 22 uses away. Great, um, let's go down to it. Probably leading to a. It's probably leading to a dead end. Gotcha. Gotta chase him down. Chase those water hoppers. I don't know what they're actually called. Scale. 
Rising Slash 30. And this will respawn the enemies, so I can just immediately go into some more. Okay, in that base town. Wait, is that Dogi? Oh my god, it's Dogi! <laughs> oh, did Dr. Flair fall asleep again already? Not surprised. He barely rested since we left Promalock. Still can't believe he came all this way to find wild salsatum flowers. It's one tough guy to go all this trouble at his age. Just to look for some medicinal herbs. Then we have you, son, exploring the Great Forest just because you're curious about it. You really aren't scared of anything, are you? Guess I wouldn't have it any other way, though. If it weren't for you, that cursed island would still be cursed. There's never a dull moment with you around. Well, as long as I get to go on some exciting adventures, that's just fine by me. <laughs> that that cursed island? What? I wonder what he could be referring to. I've never heard of any cursed island in East. I mean, in fact, I've heard of basically two cursed islands in East. <laughs> I remember. Is that? Oh, the village of the wise, I would presume. So this is the village of the wise? Looks almost magical from afar. I never would have expected to find a human settlement in a dark place like this. I'd heard about this village's existence in Highland, but I never thought I'd have the chance to actually see it for myself. This is your first time here too, right, Adol? <laughs> Can't say for sure. What kind of wishy-washy answer is that? Are you looking to get kicked in the shins? The Sanctuary of Storms are still active. We couldn't be here right now. There's no way you could have been here before. Why so quiet, Durin? He always starts to make some comment about what's going on. You're Adol's voice! The sound treatment is kind of creepy coming from you. It's nothing. Let's get going. Uh, okay. Storied village. Ah, eh, interesting. Um, but... Uh, I do not want to go this way just yet. Uh, I would rather explore the other direction. Because that is progress. So, let's go do not progress first. Ash and Forest Guild. Okay, so that gives me a thing to teleport to. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna get some person that allows me to... Okay, so that's how that's gonna work. Um, so I'm gonna get some person that lets me get through that. Um, so now let's go back there and check the other way from here. So that's presumably the last person or uh, ability. A rising slash. Oh, good. Um, can't remember. Uh, he's 28. He's doing good on stuff. Oh, that's how she's higher level, because her levels took less XP to get to. Like, her level 30, her to get to 31 it only takes so much. Okay. I wonder if each of the different characters has, like, XP increase rates. That's like a hidden thing. Okay. Actually, how much? Okay, if I can get to 70, then that'll make, that'll make it a bit easier. Because then I can just go to Griselda and get two rewards, I would presume. Ah, uh, nope. 69.1. Okay. So, we're gonna... Drop... D Denon Village. Oh, it's called... It's called the Denon. Is that, like, opposite of Kaznan? <laughs> yes. 69. Nice. 
It's not 69.0. 69. .0. 69.1. Uh, oh, there we go. I will say I love this thing where it's like, oh yeah, no, and now it's a lot easier to go anywhere. Okay, so it just teleports me all the way down. I thought there was going to be like a, a path to walk down that might get me. Important question, will you do the Mishy quest? There's a Mishy quest. Um, I guess, maybe, I'll try. Uh, this really is a strange place. It's in the primeval lands, just like Highland. But the two places couldn't be more different. Someone is coming. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Hello? Are you nervous? <laughs> How adorable. Hello. My name is Frida. I'm a warrior of this village who retells stories of the ancient past. God, I feel like I know this voice. Welcome, Adolf. I know you've had a long journey. I feel like I've heard her in other East, other East games that I've been voiced. How do you know my name? <laughs> I wonder. A lady needs to have a sense of mystery about her, doesn't she? Hmm. I was expecting a tough warrior or something, not a kid. <laughs> hello, hello there. <laughs> Hello, hello, Morgana so Sothis Fee. <laughs> this is Wendy. Okay, so that's awesome. Okay. Huh? That wasn't me. Where are you looking? I'm here. Here. Oh. How rude. Oh, she's kind of reminiscent of the fairies from the Pistol. That's neat. Uh, um. I'm Nina, an alchemically recreated fairy. I'm Frida's partner in the village messenger. Created? As in, someone actually made you here? And you're a fairy, no less. I always thought fairies were just, well, fairy tales. Fairy tale, fairy tale, going down to fairy tale. Incredible. Hm? Surprised? I'll bet you are. Any more questions? I'm in such a good mood today, I'll tell you anything you want to know. So what's it going to be? Frida's weight, her measurements, her ex's name. I can give you hints, you're just say them all. What? Now wait a minute, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, she's always like this. Um... Anyway, I... Wait, where were we? Sense of mystery, gone. You're about to tell us how you know Adol's name. Oh, right. I guess I was. But I think there's someone else here who would be better suited to answer that question. Right? Don't you agree, Duran? Oh, so that's where Durin's from. I mean, he does have similar colored hair. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so. Okay, that's neat. Oh, and that was the thing of light. That was the, that was the fairy, the messenger. Oh, 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 I'm David Bowie. Oh. <laughs> Wait. If I explain everything in detail, we'll be here for hours. But in short, Darren here has been telling me all about you. This is where he's from, you see. What? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, what? The non village. Damn, the non. Also, Wendy Lee also did the. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah. I was like, it feels like there is yet to be a character that hasn't had at least two voices. <laughs> Damn, look at this, this. They stuff the role. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, okay, we got we got these five, we got these like seven voice actors. Put them in. <laughs> Just put them in. Uh, feels like such a long time since I last saw you, Duran. <laughs> Tell me, what's with that hairstyle? No, you don't actually think it suits you, do you? <laughs> Kirk Thornton was Gaddis and Darren. Okay. It's dreadful! Sh shut up, you two! This is hardly the time to be talking about my hair. Sean was Grudo and Ozma, yep. At all, and everyone else too. I'm sorry for keeping so many secrets from you all. Uh, Christina was, oh, was Bami and Karma, yep. <laughs> you even lied to us. Why didn't you tell us before? I'm... Really, I'm sorry. What? 
There's only one adult voice. Yeah, nah, I don't know. There's probably more. Pretty low, Turin. Cassandra is only credited as Coca, but I don't doubt that she also did need it. Yeah, right? You'd better have, good ex have a good explanation for all of this. Don't give me any of that. You'll understand when you're older, crap. I'll bite you so hard. You have your reasons, I trust. Uh, of course. This is a village where the descendants of those who committed an unforgivable sin in the distant past live in secret. And everything that we have done relates to that incident. An unforgivable sin. Did you, I don't know, like, eat an apple? Kyle Herbert did Remnos, Eldeal, and another. Okay. What do you mean? The Elder is going to explain all of that to you very soon. We'll take you to his residence now and show you around the village along the way. Yeah. No more secrets. We'll tell you everything else. Or everything, everything there. Hm. Well, I'm intrigued. Come on, Adol. The Elder's house is one in front of the central tower. If there's anywhere else you wanted to explore before we get there, just say the word. Like Frida's house. <laughs> Come now, there's nothing to see there. Not my massive dildos on the wall. No, Adol. Shall we be off? Gotta explore. Boom. Open this door. Is this actually Frida's house? Hello, is anyone home? Doesn't look like it. Mm. Seems as if no one has lived here for quite a while. Yeah, this house hasn't been used for a long time. This house has it. It belonged to someone Duran and I knew many years ago. As you can see, it's empty now. Hmm? Is it a friend? Or is it someone who betrayed the village? Is it the big bad of the entire story? Is that who it is, protagonist? Uh, yeah, so the village doesn't take up time. Boom, open this door. Hey, who are you? Oh, it's you, Darren. seeing you own your skills since we last met. You can tell a glance, huh? Good old Dante. Not exactly, okay. Well, I am not worry. After all, for years, find your skills as well since you've been gone, too. Wonder who we're gonna fight. Sure, Darren. Dude, Darren, my boy. Oh, I'm hurt at all. How about we take this outside and find out for sure? I think I'll pass. Besides, I couldn't seriously fight a woman. Oh, you couldn't? <laughs> How boring. We'll just have to do the, the horizontal fighter. Uh, oh, hello. We're not used to getting guests. It looks like you know you wear a sword and quite well at that. You may be aware, but things you learned when pursuing martial arts can be applied to all walks of life, so never forget to train. You know, I'm so good at sword fighting, now I can cut carrots like a master. Okay, so I'm presuming stores. Oh, it isn't Durin. I haven't seen you in here in a while. Is this some kind of research facility? You could say that, yes. Our specialty is synthesizing elixirs of medicines and items. Hey, if you got the money and the ingredients, we can make just about anything you can imagine. So what is it you want? A love potion? Something to make you invisible for nefarious purposes? Go on, name your wish. I think we're good for now. Come on, there's no shame in being honest. Humans are all beasts deep down. Right, Blondie? Why are you asking me? I think we're done here. If you want to start a quest, you should be able to start by going to Highland. It's gum kit. Okay. Yeah, we should be probably leaving now. Okay, so I'll... Yeah, do you want to use our services? No, I know. It's just showing. I'm coming again. So I imagine I can't leave right now. Yeah, I can't warp out. So I have to do... I at least have to advance to the point where I can warp out, but then I'll go right to Highland. Boom! Fucking are in the storm. Hello, child. Yeah, uh, what a rarity! I've never seen anyone with red hair. Might be the first time in the night. Don't be excited, but you know, we don't want any trouble. Turn your back, see you some visitors. Have you come to buy something? No, we're just showing them around. We'll come again soon, I'm sure. All right, let me know anytime. Weapons, armor, arms. If you need it, we probably sell it. Just let me know if you need anything. See, I'm worried about buying weapons now because I'm afraid that I will immediately go into the next dungeon and pick up a better weapon. Oh, Deku, I don't know work. Isn't that neat? So you're at all. You're at air. It's brilliant. Shay, you're at a side My name is Rian. It's a pleasure to meet you. I live here with my younger brother. You're welcome to come visit anytime you'd like. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Do, 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 do. Yeah, what's up? Is this Doran's mom or brother or something? I don't know. Wait, this house is. Well, if it isn't little Darren, I think I'm a bit too old to be called little anymore. 
Who's this? Is this your mother? Is this your girlfriend? It's probably your mother. My mother? Oh, come now, Duran. Is the idea really so horrific? Eh, I'm afraid your guess is incorrect, however. I'm actually Frida's mother. I see. Now that you mention it, I can kind of see the resemblance. You and Duran certainly seem to get on well. Well, Darren and Frida have been friends since they were practically in diapers. They've never managed to move past that, though. You'd think they would have gone beyond friends a long time ago. You're still so young, Frida. How long are you going to keep dwelling on the past? Mother! mother. <laughs> what? What's wrong? I wonder what was that all about. I don't know, but suddenly it's gone pretty awkward in here. Ooh. <laughs> the sexual tension could be cut with a butter knife. Never mind that. Do feel free to make yourselves at home. With all that you youngsters around, I feel more energetic than ever. Feel free to make use of the dinner table. What? At all. This is where the village Vondra lives. Tends to ramble and it's kind of difficult to get along with, so you might want to brace yourselves. I'm going to tell him you said that. Hmm. Either way, if there's anything else you want to see, I suggest we go see it before heading inside. So what'll it be? Indecision is not becoming in a man. But, uh, doesn't that be the purpose of the saying? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright then, let's go pay Vanjo a visit. Ugh. Ugh. Sometimes I feel like I need to like have like a buckle to my head to like hold my head to the actual background. Isn't it saying the tension is high if it's needed to be cut with a knife? If it's a butter knife, there is no tension. Well, there could be plenty of tension, but you have to use a lot of power. I don't know, man. <laughs> yes, I mi I misused the idea of the tension with the knife. I wasn't thinking of how the saying should properly be used when I said it. <laughs> or, I guess if I was being accurate, maybe there was no sexual tension. Maybe there was other tension. I don't know. I brought them with me, Elder. Back checker font. Ah, so they're finally here! Rebranding my content. Fact Tano. Dark Fact Tano. Uh, I have a lot of questions. Oh, I know what you want to ask already. Don't bother saying anything! Yes, I'm high as fuck. Oh, hello there, sir. You want to know who we are, am I right? Ah, oh, well then. A tribe of people who turned their backs on the gods and destroyed an entire ancient civilization. Yo. Cool. But you say we. You're just descendants of the people that did it, and for some reason you're carrying the sin. Whatever. Huh? What? I don't really understand. It happened a long time ago, far overseas. Our ancestors stole a mighty power from the gods and sank their land to the bottom of the ocean. But one of those gods, certain Lord Eldeel, as it were, forgave their sins and secretly brought them here to Salsetta. Yeah, right. Does that mean your ancestors lived in the kingdom of Salsetta? Hmm, the kingdom was full of good, honest people, including their benevolent king. It was far too nice for a place for a tribe of sinners like us. So our ancestors settled here, underground, repenting for their sins and silently watching over the kingdom. But then something terrible happened. The Fire Nation attacked. Something yeah, terrible? This is a story every man, woman, and child in this village knows by heart. Long ago, a winged sage came to Salsetta, gave the people wisdom and civilization, and in return they revered him as a god. But one day that god began to act with cruelty and malice, as if he'd become a different being altogether. Steadily, these acts of aggression grew until one day he came to destroy the kingdom with his power. Was, was that god... it couldn't have been. Lord Eldiel, could it? That yeah, sounds familiar at all. I believe you've witnessed something quite similar yourself. Dark facts! A certain wing and a crazy of you are suddenly behaving quite unlike himself and attacking without warning. Nah. <laughs> nah, dude, them bitches wanted my D. Now they're not winged anymore. They're deflowered as well. Whoa! <laughs> no. That's not possible. I don't know the cause of this transformation. But those changes in Lord Eldia's behavior now reflect a similar pattern to his past of destroying the kingdom of Sosetta. So we decided to keep an eye on him. Not on those who visited his tower as well. We thought that maybe we could be of some service to him if the situation called for it. I feel like I've made this guy's voice a lot more pepper, like peppy, than it really needs or deserves to be, but I like it. Now I was called to the tower and, well, down he went. 
I see. So you're the one assigned to watch over Adol, then. Yeah. Listen, Adol, I... I'm sorry for not telling you. There was just a lot on the line, and it was also so... I, if I gained your trust, I could be at your side. Thought it'd be easier. It's hard to blame him now that we've heard all that. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, really. Hey. Well, he was only doing what I ordered him to, so don't be too hot on him now! Especially, uh, having you around was a big help. It's been a big help having you around, Duran. Ravier has been suspicious on occasion. Now that we know the truth behind your actions, I feel I speak for us all when I say we are grateful to have you. Mm, I think I can forgive you. This time. Thanks, everyone. At all, we're here in town and share the same objectives as you. Pursue Lord Haldia. And to that end, there's something I need to show you. Would you come outside for a moment? Don't worry, you'll understand when you see it. Oh my god, it's a goddamn thing! I don't know. Is it a mask? This way, Otto. This place is so beautiful. It's the only part of the village where sunlight can get through, huh? It's the most sacred place in the entirety of the subterranean forest. Ha! The sun here is far too bright for the likes of us! Perfect for sealing away a certain powerful object, if I must say. See for yourselves in that shrine! Don't get too close now. There's a real strong barrier keeping it safe. Is that... No, it couldn't be. It's a mask! Yep, that there's the mask of the sun! What? What's it doing here? I had it removed from Adol's grave. And the hell did you manage that? You were, un you were unaware of this? Yeah. Why is this vill village full of such terrible people? Oh. Come now, that's not very fair of you, Turin. But if it had been left there, it may have fallen into the hands of someone who really shouldn't have it. And you were so busy saving Adol after he fell into that waterfall, you certainly couldn't have claimed it. You should be grateful Frida was watching out for you. Bah. Save me? Dude, bro. Bro, thanks, bro. Bro. Dude. He's do bro. Or bro run. Yo, bro. You're like almost up there with brogy. <laughs> yeah. I was the one who pulled you out of the waterfall basin. Lord Elde was still unstable, groaning in agony like when we last met him in the what in the tower. So I seized the chance to rescue you and somehow carried you all the way back to Kaznan. Still not sure how I pulled it off. I played my part as a messenger, too. We all helped in our own way. So that's what happened. However, if Gruda and his allies are seeking the mask, they may be in the area. Strange thing, I played most of Mask of the Sun. They had this weird-ass plot where the Eldin enslaved and ate people. Glad they dumped that dumb idea. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fucking weird. Is it safe to leave the mask so exposed? Ha! No need to worry! That shrine there is guarded by a powerful force field! It'd take one hell of a blast to break through that! Insert powerful blast within the next ten minutes. This may seem like an obvious question, but what exactly is the mask? The replicas Gruda's men produced were used to strengthen the physical prowess of the Roman soldiers. And the mask used in my village is the same thing. Ah, that's just a side effect! The Mask of the Sun really allows its wearer to read the Akashic Records, where the world's blueprints are recorded. The, the Akashic Records? What, are we playing SMT Devil Survivor 2 now? Never heard of such a thing before. What do you mean by world's blueprints? Just what it sounds like! The world's structure, its properties, its origins. Maybe you'll find something about the divergent laws. <laughs> That's where the plot goes. Everything that's ever happened in the past, every, every damn thing that'll ever happen in the future. I'll collect it in one book. What? Child of Highland! Think for a moment of Lord Eldia's actions and you'll have your answer. His actions? You mean giving people knowledge? Huh. Being the blueprints of the world, using their contents to ration out knowledge, and maintain global balance. It's the Mask of the Sun and the Akashic Records that make all that possible. Mask is a 1994 American superhero comedy film directed by Chuck Russell and produced by... <laughs> is that what the mask goes by? An American superhero comedy film. <laughs> Never really thought of the, the mask as a superhero. But I also don't exactly remember 
I'm sure I saw the mask, but I don't remember much. <clears throat> I mean, what else would it be? I don't know. Just a comedy? <laughs> like, I got like a weird, a weird body horror comedy sometimes. The Gruda's real objective is the world's blueprints and the key to reading them. Where are these Akashic records located? In the former capital of the Kingdom of Salsetta, deeper still within the forest. Yeah, that's where Groot is headed, no doubt. It's gotta be. He seemed to be mass-producing copies of the mask. Do you think he plans to use those to read the Akashic Records? Pfft! He's a talented magician, but no mere copy could even come close to approximating the work of the gods! It is possible, I bet, that in the process of duplicating the mask, he could have learned its true purpose. It's because of us that he and the Romans came to this land. What are you... Elder... What's the meaning of this? We're bitten here, you know? Well, a girl showed up to me and we give her the mask. A girl? Don't tell me that, sorceress. So this is where you all went? That was a time to murder a bitch. Oh, wait, what? You're not the bitch, I thought. Is that... Lisa? Why are you... So you're the apostle girl, eh? Surprised you found this place! Where have you been? I'm sorry for worrying you at all. However, I'm afraid there's no time to explain myself right now. You should really explain yourself, Plot Down Central. You seem to be in quite the hurry. Why exactly can't you take a moment to explain yourself again? You can't honestly expect us to hand you the mask on faith alone, little lady. Uh, I can save Lord Eldiel. You should explain how. <laughs> Lisa? Guess you're not here under orders as an apostle, then. How about you at least tell us why you need the mask? At least then. Oh. So. What's going on? Above us! The White Galbalon! Soul Galba! What is that thing? It's huge! It's... Lisa's... Is this how she gets around the continent to bring people to the town? Look familiar? Yeah. Galbalan. I apologize for being forced to take such an aggressive approach, but I simply don't have time to do this any other way. You could just Soul, talk. Mom. Soul, if you'd please. What? It can't be! We need to subdue it, Durin. Just don't hurt Lisa in the process. Don't let us down. I know. We can't let her break the barrier and take the mask at all. Sorry to ask, but will you lend us a hand? And yes. All right, but then we're even. Of course. There's no even. We're friends. Thanks. Sorry to get you caught up in all this. You can access the menu now to prepare for battle. To change party members, use the party member menu. Equipment and skills can also be changed. Yo, Frida. Okay, so she's the other slash. Okay, so this is definitely other party member. Okay, cool. What skills we got? What skills we got on her? Hurricane spin. Fairy strike. Fairy tale. Fairy tale. Um, okay, she already has. Okay, then. Okay, 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 okay. okay. See, the thing is, right, I use, I like to have Adol in my party, so I never, ever, ever have two of the same weapon type. But, I might have to have, I'm, she's a halberd user, oh okay. god. But I might have to try and, I might have to swap that out so I can try and get everyone max skilled. But do I even need everyone max skilled? I don't play, I don't want to be playing getting Oz on max skill, but I do want to use Frida, because she's hot. Um, but... Yeah, I'm gonna keep all this on him. Um, let's give you that. Let's also give you that. Um, and then... I'll give you this. My turn. All right. Oh god, that takes a lot of time. Her moves are slow as shit. Okay, uh, there'll be a wife war between Karna and Frida. Maybe. What's your ult? 
See, I find it funny how they get to keep attacking while in the slow-mo for my ult. I think that's... There we go. The damage boot. Good choice, the bitch! Talk like a normal person! Just tell us why! Did we succeed? Uh, that was a hell of a battle. No. I knew it. Conventional weapons aren't going to work against this thing. What? So it is a Gavilan, then. I'm sorry, everyone. Soul, do it! You should really just kind of run past and get on the other side to be able to grab the thing after the thing breaks. No! No, the barrier! Eh. Thank goodness. Now I can finally save Lord Eldiel. Who wants to bet she was lied to by the people that, you know, caused probably a lot of this to happen? And that this mask won't actually won't save him. Ha ha ha! Well done, little apostle! Huh? Or am I about to be proven true? Yup, called it, bitch. Soul! Frida, he's here! We should really just be attacking him right now. Finally, the Mask of the Sun is mine. Can't be. You're... <laughs> Don't think too poorly of me, little apostle. I kept my word. I told you where the mask was. But I never once promised I'd let you have it. You have only your own naivete to blame for this. Yup, called it. I should have known! You always did enjoy making a grand entrance, Gruda. Okay, so he's from here. But is this any way to treat your own people? What? Are you saying? Several years ago, one of our own broke the laws of our village and unraveled the secrets our ancestors sealed away. From my understanding, Gavilan is a classic weapon, not a name. The Gavilan is in Falgana, was an Ash Gavilan, the main reason why it was destructive and evil, since Ash MLS is unsafe. Ah. Um. Uh -huh. Fucking Galbalans, man. Fucking Galbalan. That man fled the village, taking a small group of supporters with him, and gave himself over to the Roman Empire. His name was Gruda, and he was once a magician from Danan. Wait. Say where you are, Adol Kristen. Gaddis, Bami, and the Mass Division are occupying the village. You wouldn't want any unfortunate accidents, would you? One of your own homeland hostage now. You are despicable. Ash MLS being what happens when people try and fail to make black and white MLS. Or black. You're just as much as a slime as ever. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I bear no emotional attachment to this dreary place. Hmm. Perhaps it is destiny that I should obtain the mask here. In honor of this occasion, we shall hereby refer to ourselves as Darklings. Yo! Bring back that name. Come now, is that really so surprising? It is a perfectly fitting name for those who have obtained the power of the gods through these unorthodox means. You. Gruda, you... You really haven't changed at all, have you? <laughs> What's a darkling? Sounds familiar? Yeah. I mean, he hasn't changed. Back when he was still in the village, Gruda researched the power of our ancestors stole from the gods. They called themselves that name. And to this day, the word is considered impure. It's bad luck to think it, much less say it. <laughs> the blood of the Darklings flows within you as much as it does in me. No matter how far you oppress it, it's a part of you. And it always will be. Buddha. Regardless, now that I have what I seek, I see nothing more to be gained by remaining here. And though I may not have much attachment to this place, I suppose it's still my home. So I'll leave peacefully, today. Could you continue your fruitless attempts to stand in my way, however? I won't be quite so merciful next time. Yo, I hope we kill him. Wait! <laughs> He's gone. Lisa. Kalilika, at all, I, I'm sorry I was a hasty bitch and basically ruined everything for everyone because I didn't want to talk. 
and reveal who the fuck told me to come get the mask and how easily we would have been able to call this utter blindside betrayal if you just took five extra seconds and said yeah i heard from gruda that the mask of the sun was here and that would i could use it to save lord eldiel and we would say oh you're gonna trust fucking gruda because he's so fucking evil man it's almost like you could have taken five goddamn seconds to talk a little bit instead of initiating a boss fight and getting it stolen and furthering the plot in a negative direction my god hey jeez lisa you dummy <laughs> what have i done exactly as i explained you were stupid and advanced the plot in a negative direction by giving the plot item to the villain by being stupid because the Every villain in a, in a Falcom game has the ability of teleportation. <laughs> Although arguably, now the protagonists also have the ability of teleportation. However, it is not as freestanding as any villain teleportation as I am locked onto geological points on the map, or as they seem to be able to do it when and wherever they wish to be able to do it. Thereby making it far more versatile and useful, especially in the aspect of ambushes. Excuse me while I talk more in this tone of voice. It is a very particular tone of voice that I have when I am explaining things at length. Little, 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 lee. Uh, now I'm good. <laughs> Eat a Snickers. Yeah. I haven't had a Snickers in a long time. Well, this has been a hell of a day. No point in just standing here, though. Let's go back to my place and sort all this out. <laughs> this guy is so chipper. So, young apostle, what are you trying to do with the Mask of the Sun? Guda implied he said something to you about it. Yes, he told me that last time Lord Eldio was behaving strangely, the Mask of the Sun was used to calm him. And so, I... I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you that Gruda told me this. A scumbag. Well, what's done is done. I'm more interested to know that you're a descendant of the Salcedo royal family, aren't you? How did you... Lisa is? Well, that's news to me. That white goblin of yours was the dead giveaway. Legend has it was created by King Lefans to le fend off Lord Eldiel after he lost control of himself. So King Lefans and Lord Eldiel fought each other? That's what they say. Not that there are any surviving records to confirm one way or the other, of course. What we do know for certain is that the Galbalands were created using a forbidden technology our ancestors sealed away. King LaFance was a righteous man, so knowing he allegedly resorted to the use of such technology shows his unease. I guess that explains how I was able to destroy the barrier. He... soul was given to me by my father to carry out the rite of summoning. I was told he'd been passed down in the family for generations, but I had no idea his creation had come about under circumstances like that. You've rolled on soul too, at all. At all. Lisa used him to take you to see Lord Eldiel. <laughs> really? Yes, Lord Eldiel asked me to escort you to his room personally. I have to say, it was no small task finding you out in that forest. Is that all we're talking about? The guy never sits still. Can't even sleep without sneaking out a window first. Okay, so I'm guessing the order of events, right? Adol and Dogi arrive in Kazda. They talk, Adol is like, yo, I want to explore this fucking forest. Dogie's like, you do that, bro. I gotta go somewhere. Adol goes into the forest, starts exploring. He goes to Komodo, and he goes to Salre and explores around there. Then, he also finds the ruin path underneath the river and marks that in his notebook. But then goes uh, back into the forest and explores some more. She comes, picks him up in the forest, goes to Highland in the tower. Then Lord Eldine turns, he gets knocked off the waterfall, Durin saves him, brings him to Kaznan, while he's still in the, and after he gets knocked out of the world, that's when he loses his memories of everything. Then he goes to the town, meets Durin again, and then they, uh, then game happens.
I, that seems to be the order of events of this game. Is that all we're talking about? The guy never sits still. Can't even sleep without sneaking out a window first. <laughs> the thing I found most difficult to accept is that the man who attacked Highland was from Danan. Yeah, he had me completely fooled. There was no doubt in my mind he was a Roman commander. Rudo was one of the most indulgent people in the village. He was also a wise man in his day who loathed the sin of our ancestors committed more than anyone else. That hatred drove him to study the incident in greater detail. Somehow or another, during his studies, he became attracted to the power of the gods that they had attempted to steal. How would that be? Only he knows the answer to that. We naturally admonished the hell out of him for what he was doing. But out of nowhere, he gathered a small group of supporters and left the village. And that was the end of that. In addition to keeping an eye on Lord Eldio, we've also been trying our best to track him down all this time. Most likely, he managed to gain the support of Rom for his research into the mask. Now he has returned to the forest. So where is he headed next? He must have sussed out the mass true power by now. It means there's only one thing you could possibly be after. The Akashic Records. The blueprints of the world, which can only be read using the mass power. On the other side of the Ashen Forest is the old capital of the Kingdom of Salceta. It's called El Duke. And in its center sits the Temple of the Sun, where Lord Eldio lived when the kingdom still existed. Supposedly that's where the Akashic Records can be found. Supposedly. The door of the temple is sealed. We've tried to open it many times, but we've never been able to get inside, so we can't be certain what's in there. But considering his resourcefulness up till now, Gruda may have found a way. When I was talking with Gruda, he also mentioned that Lord Eldio is headed for Elduk as well. Hmm. Seems that Elduk is the main point of interest for all parties then. Almost like it's where everything is gonna pop the fuck off. Including you, Adol. If you ever want to learn the truth about what happened to you, you need to confront Eldio. That's just what I'll do. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? Let's go! I'll bet you'd be ready to go even if you had all your memories intact, wouldn't you? Elder, I would like to go with Adol as well. Me too. Hmm. Well, you are familiar with the route. Are you sure? In a way, you may be the single most unsuitable person for this task. I'll be okay. I've had more than enough time for my wounds to heal. Rita. Well, I know better than to argue with you. Nothing, say, nothing I say is going to change your mind. So go on ahead. They don't need a god anyway. Thank you, Elder. I'll be going on ahead to Elduke. Hey. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? <laughs> I won't be alone. I have Soul with me. And there are a few things I'd like to look into. Indeed. About your ancestor, King LaFance? Yes. I'd like to know what happened to King LaFance and Lord Eldio when the Kingdom of Salceta fell. If I can learn even that much, I might be able to find some means of returning Lord Eldio to normal. Well, don't push yourself too hard, okay? Not gonna say anything at all. Catch as soon as you can. I'm sure we'll find you. Thank you very much. At all? Thank you for your assistance, at all. I know that you have more than enough problems of your own. I'm certain that one day you, Eldio, and I will all be able to drink tea together once more. I'll be certain to brew the best tea I can possibly find. Goodbye for now. See you later. Okay, see you guys later. Fucking Galvalan. And there she goes. Feminine yet courageous. She's a fine girl, eh, Ozma? No. I had no intention of... Men, they're like animals, aren't they? Darren, please. Refrain from making such comments. You guys have begun grouping me with you. <laughs> it's time we should get moving, at all. We have a lot of ground to cover. Free to join the party. You can now accept quest and deny. Okay, so what is her, like, field skill? Okay, but regardless, I... There. Okay, so that's there. What's up here? Up here. Oh, is this the quest board? Secret synthesis, need an to top secret ingredient, laboratory... Looking for excessive and increase my luck, yeah, and that seems to be the screen bring it to me as a reward. Fair report the dangerous plant must call on the right husband side separating at first, appreciate it. You get it. Okay, cool. Quest. Expound Ross, and I see your substitute of the flora. The long and early area. So I appreciate it. Okay. Uh so I'm gonna go to Highland, and that's probably where I'll end the stream, but I do wanna just check around. Talk, okay. Hand over the good luck accessory. 
Don't know what, even what it is. You brought an accessory? Well, I thank you. So which accessory are you going to give me? Um, oh, I have to give one of the axes? Okay. Okay, let me see. Give me a drink. Hmm. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at the axes. What do they give? Um, drop a rare items or gold. Right, that's the other one. Shit. Um, I'm hoping that this is a quest that you give it to them and then they just say, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't need it. But I can envision myself needing rare items more than money. So I'm going to give the gold axe. This accessory lets you obtain lots of money, correct? Well, no, my, the money is needed for money, so I suppose having lots of it would be one way to make purse happy. Are you sure you can have this? Yeah, thank you very much. Here's something for me in return. Shield, oh my god, that's so not worth it, I feel. That was nothing. Oof. Oh well. Probably should have saved before doing it. And the magical bird, and then you can meet the here. Yeah, so my accent only was synthesized here. Uh, synthesize, synthesize, temporary strength up, SP up. Oh, okay. So now we have. Oh, I shouldn't have been giving my fruit away. Because now, uh, now I can make the things that just make my stats higher. Damn. Oh well, not a big deal. Do you need something? Put a quest on the board, we're here about that. You test what you need, of course. The rest of you are not taking it, but I need to bring the ingredients to bring special things. Specifically, I'm not allowed to say I almost forgot. It's not something dangerous, is it? I don't think we should accept a request from your hand. Yeah, certainly you're asking the people. Yeah, if you do explain. Complete reasonable review, but I'm not the one who has the ones to protect my client's privacy. You can't force you to accept either, so if you're not interested. Well, actually, I can promise you on behalf that it's not going to be used for anything dangerous. Ask can I. In fact, I have a good idea what this looks like is, and if I'm right, there's no need to worry at all. So client confidentiality is the only reason you cannot say then. If she's not one of public safety. Well, if Darren Senior says so, we can trust. I'll just assume it's something deeply personal and leave it at that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I'll leave it up to you whether you want to take this request or as follows. A Yupal fly, a leave fly, or a power fruit, and uh, an import Oh my god, that's so much. God damn it. See that? Oh my god. Okay. I don't know where to get all of those things. Um, so we're going to fast travel to where's Highland? Is this Highland is there. Nope. Okay. Going to Highland. So there's the quest here. the question? No. The question was this building. Yes. Information artifacts. Signature collector. A few pages in my favorite notebook that I just can't seem to fill with someone being on the help. My mayor, my house is to the left of the mayor's man. Okay. Uh Okay. Okay. Uh, Fontano, uh, is this the quest that you're talking about that's weird? The Mishy quest? Or is it a good hidden quest? Hello, Kalilka. Oh, hello, Ethan. We saw your request on the board. What's this? Is the best signature book. Let me explain. See, there's a game on a notebook my dad. Don't want to spell the names. I almost spell, but I get the part in a second. I'm trying to fill the rest of it by taking the different people and asking them to sign their names in it. It's a particular pastime. It's kind of fun, a page for every letter of the alphabet, and each page has a space for a signature for someone whose name starts with that letter. Fortunately, there are three pages that I haven't been able to fill yet. What letters do those pages start with? One's Q, one's U, and one's Z. I've spoken to lots and lots of people, but I haven't particularly signed those particular pages, I think there just aren't any people whose names begin with those letters in high end. So I had a local app, I figured I'd try and look for some outside help. Yeah, I guess there are only so many people you can ask here. Exactly. If you guys are willing to help, I'll bet I can get this finished in no time. Oh, there's a whole big world out there, and if you're making a point of exploring it bit by bit, right? It's a perfect match. It's certainly true enough. 
What do you think, Adol? Sounds like a really interesting request. Might be interesting. Might be fun. What do you say we can help you and get the last few signatures he needs? Except. Kelly, thank you. Here's my signature book there. Here's the signature book. Let me know when you got a signature of people whose name is going to Q, U, and Z. You can really help finish it. Okay, Z. Q, U, and Z. Um. There's probably some freaking rando people whose names begin with Q, U, and Q, and Z. Um. Bye bye weapons. No better weapons to be had here. Um, okay, so that's that. So let's now warp over to Komodo. Check out these quests. Because it feels like these quests are ones where it's like, you're getting quests where it's like, go around the world and find them. Whereas the previous quests were based in the village, perhaps. Never mind. Did I miss the opportunity for it? Uh, I was going to tell you about Michi. Uh, okay. Uh, kind of friends like the materials. Yeah, I kind of see any assassin's workshop. Okay. Where's assassin? Is he up? Is he... Is he right here? The assassin? Uh, hey, nice to see you. There's actually another material that could bring me. What would that be? I read about an old book I brought it from the first. It's a really tough kind of hide. You can hire some beasts in the premier lands. We were saying a bizarre hide you made across the river, so I think we were, Yeah, okay. All right, I found some. Bizarre hides? If they have one of those, we able to make all these kind of great. Okay. See what we can do. I know I have these. So that's good. Easy quest. Is this what you were looking for, Sison? So strong, yeah, so flexible. Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Let me try making something with this. And can you just wait a moment? Sure, bud. Hmm, not bad if I do say so myself. Here you go. Life ring three. Great. I'm curious as to the other things that I can make now. Just look for your pipe. See you later, Sison. Come by anything. You can craft anything. Just bring me materials. Works high. That was nothing. Crafting materials too. You can now craft additional accessories at Sison's workshop. Craft accessory. Craft. Now, um. Golden. Okay, so I can make another axe. Um. Just need a gold ingot. Okay, so that's good. So, you know, I should probably make one of those. I'll go make a gold ingot. Um. Prevents misfortune. Okay, I need more gold ingots. That's curse. Um, I'll probably find one of those somewhere. Can't be knocked back during skills. That's cool. Obtain XP when walking. Bees. That seems kind of broken. Ooh, SP consumption. Is Sapphire in an awful carapace? Damn. Hopefully I'll find one of those out and about, maybe. Okay. So I need a couple... I need a couple gold ingots. Okay, so where can I... Is there a blacksmith here? Or is this a town that doesn't have a blacksmith? This is chicken house, right? Yeah, this town probably doesn't have a blacksmith, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go back to Kazan, because I know Kazan has a blacksmith. And I'll pick up the stuff here. Okay. Alright, yeah, uh, oh wait, this isn't where I needed to go, but it's fine. Um. Ooh, uh, wait, no. I'm looking for a mess in the cure Pickard's Hangover, but I know saying, wait, 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 copy now, I need a drink post. Okay. Pickard's Hangover. Nope. Not over there. Uh, here's some medicine. That oh, looks like you're selling the cure little guy's hangover. What did you bring me? Um, follow a con. Is really supposed to care? Pick up, can't have to try it out. Pick up, drink the medicine. 
we did it work if we be erased bit card that looks like it worked perfectly thank you so much his reward for a job well done Ten thousand gold nice if we you know you're not thinking of drinking again now that we managed to sober you up are you it's the perfect time for drinking Oh, and I think you might have a problem. For now, there will be no more heavy drinking for you. You hear me? Fwah. That was nothing. Uh, okay. So let's make some gold ingots down here. Um, right. This is exchange materials, right? This is where I can do it. Uh, gold ore. Okay. Get, actually, do I need more gold ore? I mean, do I have a 29? Okay, that should be enough for... Several ingots, buy, sell, buy. That's money. Okay, the blacksmith is up. Or wait, no, it was down here on the right. Uh, yeah, that's it. Air Force refine. No, refine. Gold ingot. Make three. Should be fine. Um, onyx. I need blackstone. Um, do I. Have any? Okay. Exchange materials, exchange blue green. Nope, don't have any black stone. Okay, so that's probably like a special or for later. Okay, so I need to now. So I got the gold ingots, and I can go back to the town and do uh, that. But first, I want to go see Griselda and. Or check my map. Report map progress. Hey, come to report your progress? Let's hear it then. You made exceptional progress for so much space for my time. Here's your reward for effort thus far. 15,000. Bid you farewell. But we'll be eagerly waiting your next report. So, yeah, I'm almost at 70. Um, still don't... I wonder if I have to go to the Ash Forest to get the thing to know what, um... to know what Frida... like, what her outside ability is. Um, okay, so let's go back to Komodo. Get those accessories that are uh, all here. No. Craft. Craft. Okay. So, I gave... Yeah, I want one of these. Yes, I do need it. Um, see, I feel like I could... Like, it might not be bad to go get another Sage's Diadem. Like, I feel like that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Um, okay, so let's... Well, so you already have that. You have this. You have that. Um, uh, SP gotcha. Okay, so the party members definitely do not, um, okay, so that is important to know. So the party members, okay, and now, okay, so the ones that aren't actually essentially with you in the first three, their effects don't count. Remove that. Actually, what were kind of skills? Master, master, mastered. Everything was mastered, so she, I can kind of leave her on the back burner. Whereas we have him, and because I haven't even used him all that much, he still only has two skills. Um, that's funny. Um, so then I was working her quite hard, but uh, how much does add-all need? 323 with 4 every time, so that's uh, fuck, um 90 something so, I go. Leave it to me. so that'll be some fun stuff right there um, so maybe instead of SP consumption it would be better do this. It might be more SP, but it might be faster. Okay. But now, 
We'll go to Celery. Just going everywhere. Uh, and then I'm gonna check out the... Uh, gonna check out the quest here before I end the stream. Because I've been going for over three and a half hours. Made a few mega weapons like some of the test on the actual combat. If anyone has a Mesa Halberd is up for helping me out, please come to this method. So, yeah, okay, well, should be simple, so. Interestingly, I've, interestingly enough, I have both of them in my party right now. Okay. Hey there! Made a couple of real mind blowing new weapons I need testing. Fancy lending me a hand? Except. Hey, thanks! I suppose it's our turn now. I've heard the weapons here are quite noteworthy. Excellent, I'm out of here. Because this is the third time you've helped me, I'll spray all the details. This time, you get to choose between an ultimate maze or an incredible halberd. Which would you rather test? I'm sure I was heck not choosing. I'll defer judgment to you, at all. Choose the mace. Alright, here you go. Picked up Extreme Death Mace. This time, I want whoever equips this to defeat five ma Mado Madagra Slefts. Not very arrogant name, is that? If only they consulted me, you know? It seems they're not going to be. Uh, seems they're going to be tough, too. I've been reading up on them. They sound pretty mean. No idea what they look like or where to find them, though. I've only heard they're ferocious and deadly, and I want their blood on my steel. And the ones who crossed over in the Premier Lens, I'm sure I'll be able to find them somewhere or another. Best of luck. Real dope. Something. Okay. Journal. Monsters. Uh, they're presumably in the tower. Um, I don't know, collector, mega weapon, looking for Mado Madagra Slef. Uh, Madagra Slef. Maybe I haven't encountered them. Madagra Slef. Madagra Slef. Madagra Slef. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so that's one I can't really do, but let's look at the weapon itself. Um, defense minus 100. Okay, so it makes you just very, very fragile. Okay, so that's good. So, chances are I'm going to be looking up a guide to get the signature quest or asking the chat next stream I do this. But right now, um, I think this is where I'm going to stop because I'm going for a while. I'm getting tired. My voice is hoarse. But regardless, this is very fun. We made a lot of plot progress. That was fantastic. And we're definitely getting to the latter portion of the game uh so with that thank you fontano for dropping by and keeping me entertained you remind me of mishy next east <laughs> next east okay i'll try i'll try and remember mishy i'll do my best uh but i can't guarantee it um but um thank you all for dropping by i hope you all have a very nice night and will join me on wednesday when i play some disguise six bye